Level two, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, I am not from Minnesota, and I apologize for the confusion. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, so we are um, starting Matthias, uh, Elwin, and Habari. Uh, you guys are three friends from the um, top side. By top side, I mean, you know, the surface world. Um, a few years ago, um, you heard that the uh, that Blindenstone, a city that was destroyed a hundred years ago by Drow, um, that was nestled deep, deep in the, in the earth, uh, was being reclaimed. Um, most recently, uh, people, by people I mean uh, Sferf Nevlin or uh, Dark Gnomes, uh, have been flooding back there, uh, returning to their ancestral homeland and reclaiming their former houses and their treasures. Um, you guys um, have thought this is a perfect opportunity to um, to go make a name for yourself in this uh, troubled land. So you guys took a, you went to Mount Arkillo, took a two week journey uh, in a downward spiral made by dwarves uh, by the uh, by your guide, which was Miglin, a small uh, Sferf Nevlin, um, what do you call it? a small Sferf Nevlin um, wanderer. Uh, and kind of permit. Uh, he guided you guys southward um, until uh, it was a two-week journey going down, and then he went through a bunch of back um, kind of backdoor uh, paths and such like that. Um, eventually, you got to this um, massive staircase. Um, one more thing, it took you. Actually, I guess it didn't take you most of your gold. For my pre-made characters, they have they start with no gold because it took them all the gold to get down here. But that's probably not true about you. Um, so you guys reached a massive staircase. After two hours of climbing, you're still climbing and there's, as far as you can tell, there's no end in sight as it's just pitch black around you. Um, and the staircase is actually very small steps. They're most likely meant for a creature smaller than you. Uh, Elwin Habari, Matthias, you think these are perfect steps. They're just fantastic. Um, it's, it's like this world was designed around you. Um, as you approach, you begin to feel as if eyes are on you as you climb higher and higher. Um, what do you guys want to do? Cheers to whoever just opened that beer. <laughs> uh, it wasn't a beer, it was a Diet Coke. Delicious. <laughs> Alright, I'm imagining you're having a beer, so I'm With not the drinking lime. alone. Oh, you guys should, uh... Um, Miglin, your guide, continues on northward. He kind of looks back and kind of commands for you guys to keep a move on. Uh, are oh, we he's still, alive? Should we be blacked out? I don't still. Oh, I'm sorry. Stay. Boom! You guys are here at the stairs. You can see it just fine. You can see it just fine. Everyone else? I can now. Excellent. Nice. Us. Oh, oh no no no! Don't please no 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 thank you. Uh, I I will I will abstain. I will abstain from that happening ever again. I don't know what that was. But I like that. Don't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, thanks. Yeah. So during the journey, Miglin's been pretty, um, pretty kind, and he's he's been well worth the money you paid for him. Um, he's 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 found you um uh your know, food on the way, uh delicious mushrooms. The they, second he turns around, sneak attack. They seem delicious Everybody at wants. the time, at the very well, at the very least. Uh, he is currently Roll has initiative. He has your back to you. He's going northward, climbing up these very tiny stairs. And once again, you guys can definitely feel eyes on you. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Tabari, Elwin, and Matthias. I keep following along. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I actually pull out uh, my weapons. Beautiful. Pull out a tomahawk and a rapier. You, you kind of you, you feel eyes on you. Get ready to fight. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, cool. The other two are gone. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're doing. Um, are Elwin, are they in the call at least? Elwin and Math. Uh, Matthias. Matthias is in. He said he'll be back shortly. I think he missed all the story. Nope. F him. Yep. <laughs> That's fine. Um, and then... Alwyn's just not in roll 20, I don't think. It, is he... <laughs> oh, no, that's... Okay. Please, please, no. we, know, we know who he was. Um, <laughs> there's something wrong with your <laughs> mic, buddy. Oh, okay. that is, it's... I it wasn't <laughs> there's something wrong with your character's voice box, at the very least. <laughs> uh, try quitting the call and coming back. That might help. I'm gonna roll a perception check. I got a two. I obviously noticed less than nothing. <laughs> uh, well, with, that, with a two, you, you look around. You, you um, uh, but because it's so dark here, um, are you, what, what race are you half elf? Halfling. Halfling. Uh, it's so dark here. Uh, besides the meager uh, torch you're carrying, you can't see much past um, a certain radius. <clears throat> 
So it's not that you can't see, it can't see much because you have poor roll, it's that you have poor vision. What is the name of our guide? Who keeps Midland. moving me around? Oh, I keep, I'm sorry, I, I keep moving around because I'm an idiot. Um, his name is Miglin. Spelled like that. Hi, Miglin, stay by me. I sense danger in this hallway. Uh, he kind of looks back and he says, don't worry. This is definitely secured by, um, by the Blinkenstone um, forces. Uh, he kind of he kind of shouts out, "Who who's out there? Who's out there? Who's out there?" And you hear um, back from up to the north, uh, about thirty feet above you. Uh, you hear a "Who goes there?" as a little uh, Sferf Neblin kind of pops out of the dark. I am Hibari. Who? Hibari, thief and archer. I am Arcadian. <laughs> We don't want thieves in our town. Go back where you came. Yeah, introducing yourself as a thief <laughs> really is not. <laughs> Can he have a mulligan on that? Because I think he probably forgot that, you know, people will, in the game don't uh, see thief as a class, but they see it as a terrible thing. I will allow it. I will allow you if you wish to have a mulligan. Uh, I am Hibari, hunter and archer. Um, Miglin yells out, uh, I'm just more guides, let me through. And uh, you kind of hear the knocked arrow kind of go back and uh, you guys continue on. Uh, thankfully, as you reach the top, um, or rather as you go on, you begin to see the, uh, the top. Um, Miglin, we could have gotten them. We could have taken those guys. He says, oh, um, he we, we could have, but why would we want to? You saw that go through that. Go through that. Yes, but it proves that my microphone isn't completely broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I just bought, I literally just bought two weeks ago. A brand okay, have you MacBook tried? Pro. Have, you have you tried, tried in Skype, Skype going, going to, to tools, tools options, options, and audio, audio settings, settings and changing, and changing, the, changing the, microphone the microphone to make sure it's the correct uh, thing? I don't have tools at to the top. I'm on a Mac. Oh, oh uh, well, well, find find, find, the, find options the options and then go to audio, audio settings, settings because that, that was what was my problem was at first. Is that or take, take your Mac, Mac to like a used electronics use dealer, sell it, and buy a normal computer? <laughs> mm, good call. Good call. This is reasonable. <laughs> and um, would um, give us, give no, us echo, no echo, which would be, which nice. be nice. Sometimes. 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 Makes it sound kind of cool, cool, though. Cool, though. Cool, though. Cool, cool. Yeah, since we're in a cavern, it does make sense. Roll 20, changing your mic and picking it up, though. Anyway. Um, so uh, you guys approach, uh, you notice that the roof goes on far beyond what your vision can see. Um, you notice that these, these walls are stone, very well crafted. Um, a massive iron gate stands in front of you, as well as um, a bunch of uh, guards and uh, civilians complaining over a tipped cart. Uh, you, can, you, can smell the, uh, you can smell a massive amount of kind of, um, it kind of smells like citrus. Um, but it's incredibly strong. It stings your nostrils. No. Oh, oh no! Don't no! No, please! <laughs> well, let, let's refrain uh, from that. I, I, it's so I, funny. I, I, would, I would like that to know. Not, no. Please. What in the hell is that? It's somebody it's trying to talk. Microphone. No. Somebody's trying to use friggin' screaming bee or whatever, and it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, once again, as you approach, you see this. It, try typing, buddy. Maybe that'll do best. It's, otherwise, you sound like a chipmunk who's getting strangled. Uh, is that a group uh, of people up to the left? Ah, uh, yes. You can see they all appear to be small gnomes, uh, or rather Sferf Neblin. Uh, their skin is very dark, um, almost obsidian in color. Um, and they appear to have, have a... It looks like a medium-sized cart, but compared to you, it looks like it's just massive. It's fully Not encumbered. Not to be confused with rock gnomes. Totally yeah. different thing. <laughs> Whatever, racist. I don't see color. Oh. Um, so, you could small... Cool, um, so you start casting up the smell. Um, the smell seems to go away. You kind of replace, you kind of dim it at the very least, um, to just smell like a like a fresh orange. <laughs> um, Big thing kind of points towards the massive door. I uh, says, uh, "I, this is our path. This leads through the uh, 
the Great Maze. Up On there. Forward. Cousin, join us. Uh, he, he taps three times on the gate, and uh, after a moment, you hear uh, the massive thing begin to open. I uh, see two guards on the other side, and you see this massive, um, um, what do they call it, swirling kind of uh, maze begin to unfold in front of you. Uh, he says, stay close to me, or else uh, you'll be lost. And pay no mind to what you see in here. It may be a trap. Pay no mind to a trap? What kind of advice is that? Have pay no mind to what you see, it will be a trap. Uh, so he begins guiding you guys through. Um, after a moment, you, you, you start hearing these squeaking sounds while you're in there. It seems to echo throughout the halls. Could you thunder us? Oh yeah, don't worry, I'll be doing a second. Um, after a while, you guys eventually make it to the other side. It's all dark still. Should have just sent her. Ah. Uh, the maze is now behind you. Um, Miglin uh, kind of gives you a nod and says, I, this is Blingdon Stone. I've done my job, so um, uh, call me if you need a guide back to the surface. I'll make my leave now. Uh, having already been paid, uh, Miglin runs off into the city. You know what I think you all should do? I think you all should go explore that maze. I do bet it. there's some cool stuff in there, like maybe a dead mimic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you, hear a scre you hear a scream up ahead. Uh, it sounds like Miglin. It's always a good sign. I run up to the north, following him. Cool. Should I uh, move one tile at a time? <laughs> uh, if, you, if you could, yeah, try to teleport around. Um, but as you approach, um, you see Miglin, you see the, uh, these massive bright lights ahead, and you see a small creature with this kind of, um, with this ringed mouth and these many wings. He's just tr sucking blood out of a, uh, of a small Srep Nevlin. He kind of screams out as he sees this thing. Oh, what do you guys do? Is that a dragon? A tiny um, little dragon. It's the best emoticon I could get for a Sturge I could get. I know exactly what this is. It's a dragon. <laughs> um, Baby dragon. What do you guys do? Anything? <clears throat> well, yeah, um, after a moment, um, Miglin tries to take a shot at him. Uh, he misses, and the thing kind of gives a head a hiss and flies into the air. Like See, making them really shaken by this. Um, yeah, Elwin not being able to talk really makes that difficult, doesn't it? Okay, um, awkward silences aside. Um, yeah. Elwin, uh, before you could strike at him, he seemed to fly away. Oh, quick question. I, Go ahead. I forget. Uh, masterwork items, they just, like, add... What What do they do? Uh, in, I don't think they exist in 5e, but I like them, so they give plus one to attack and plus one to damage. Got it. In addition, they're, they're more difficult to break. What, what is it? Is there a difference between a plus one uh, magical item and a masterwork item? Uh, magic items tend to go through resistances. Go through what? Resistances. Oh, resistances. Yeah, so far as like resistant to physical stuff, my magic sword will do it, but my masterwork won't. Got it. Yeah. So I guess there'd really be no difference for the bagpipe, but. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, for most. Weapons. Um, uh, wants to get close and hit them. Yeah. Um, so you guys approach. Um, Miklin kind of runs off back in oh, the city. Oh, masterwork only adds to hit. It doesn't add to damage. I make it add to both. I, 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 I wouldn't allow it to add one. Might as well just be a plus one, but yeah. yeah. Okay. I proceed forward. 
Cool. Uh, you proceed forward and you see the massive halls of Lindenstone. Uh, well lit from, uh, from up, up on very high, and uh, the darkness continues even further. Uh, you can see that built into the stone is a small city, um, including things like um, large bridgeways that go multiple stories up. Uh, you can see these tiny people are rebuilding a little, their little society under the earth. Uh, to your east, you can see people, um, guards, defending barricades from with, within the city from outside of their reclaimed portion. Uh, you can see hallways, that's, uh, hallways that stretch into uh, different parts of the town. In addition to, um, yeah, in addition to, um, you know, little crates that are lying about and being carried to several different floors. Uh, this is clearly the fabled city of Lindenstone that you are destined to be, be at. Um, to the east of you, you see a small sign. It says that the um, that the east way would lead to a second here. Um, yeah. um, the east way leads to the tavern district. Uh, the political district is that way, and the um, the makeshift hospital is that way. Uh, on a very close to you, you can see this kind of little small shop. It appears to be boarded up uh, probably a hundred years ago. No one's ever reclaimed it, uh, but you can see the words "Phantasmal Glamour's Magic Shop." Um, still, kind of glows from the um, from the sign. Uh, what would you guys do? I walk over and try the door to the magic shop. Um, you go there over the handle. You can clearly see it's boarded up. <clears throat> if it's a hundred years old, does that mean it's kind of rotten, and I can open it? Um, you would have to grab the things and rip them off. <clears throat> do you, do you have anybody, the guy? Oh, you, you have anyone looking? Guards are uh, looking. They're watching. This might not be the first time. I am a thief. Wait, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm going to steal all the stuff. I step towards the guards. Guards, what are you attacking? What are you protecting the city from? Uh, they kind of look to you with their uh, look up at you with their tiny little statue and ch stature and say, uh, "Orcs, orcs lay on the outside." I hate orcs. How often do they attack? Um, not often recently. Um, there was uh, some people who came in and slayed um, their leader. Now we're just making sure that nobody comes in again. If they get a new war chief, it could be bad news bears. Um. Uh, from above here, you hear a, little, a scream. A little anachronistic there. <laughs> uh, from above, you hear a scream as you see another one of these things fly, uh, fly through a person, or fly around a person, and then disappear off into the sky. Uh, what would you guys like to do? Uh, I sheath my weapons and kind of get my crossbow. Oh. oh, you want to get ready to shoot one of these things down? Yeah. Cool. Um, you do see one start to flutter. It swoops down. You think it's going to uh, try to grab some sort of apple or something off from the crates. Uh, you want to give me a shot? Uh, 15 will absolutely hit. 6 damage actually... From a crossbow, doesn't do slashing damage. It's piercing. But, um... <laughs> No problem. Uh, it lands right in the stomach. You see it fall down to the ground and just go splat. Ooh. It was a perfect shot. Great music for this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's a gnome city. They're, they have they have uh, that kind of music. You're shooting down dragons. Once again, these are surges. Baby dragons. I got it. <laughs> I go over and examine it. Cool. Um, it, it looks like a giant insect to you. Um, it's got a face that's kind of like a, a big... It's got no face, essentially. It's just a big maw. You assume it flies around or sees, uh, similar to that of a bat. Oh, it's like a Bathias, giant... we have binocs in this cave. Be careful of the power cables. Uh, do you want to pick it up and keep it on you, or...? Uh, Sturgis, make good eatings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll grab uh, it. This one's particularly bloated. You is, you can assume what that means. We're gonna have baby surges. Apple. 
Cool. Um, so what do you guys want to do? Is Matthias still not back? I don't nice. know. He's here. He oh. just can't really talk. Yeah. He has issues communicating. Because I, 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 I've been just been moving around. I don't think he's moved himself since we started. Oh, uh, you know you can move your character around, right, buddy? I, I'm the only one that's moving Matthias. It'd probably be easier if you typed in roll 20. Yeah, just type in roll 20. That's, that's the best thing to do right now. Looks uh, like he doesn't want to continue if he can't if, talk. If you, if you don't want to, it's, you can quit, buddy. It's, it's okay. We won't blame you. Yeah, as long as you're not rage quitting, we're, we're cool. <laughs> you're gonna go to that special hell of people who quit right at the beginning of a session. That happens. Okay, uh, we'll just continue on then, uh, while you're uh, messing with stuff. Uh, so Habari, Elwin, the fires, where are you guys going? Well, Elwin, what do you think? Uh, why are we in this town? Elwin? He, he, he's like, remember, he's, he's the one who the squeaks. One makes, so. Yeah. <laughs> the help All right, I step Lincoln's back over to uh, the guard and I say, "Is there a is there a commander of the guard or something? We are uh, wandering mercenaries." We're looking if there's something we can do to help you reclaim Blingdon Stone. Um, he nods and says, uh, the Borough Warden could help you with that. And he points um, to the northeast in the political district. I say, all right, cousin. I'll lead the way. Elwin, are you coming? You guys must be tired of such a long trip. Uh, this northeast or this northeast? Um, yeah, that northeast. Uh, both. Both is fine. They both leave the same place, honestly. <laughs> All roads lead to the same place. Yeah. Um, you can see a couple of guards uh, hanging outside this room right here. Um, you assume that is most likely where the town hall is set up. Uh, you look to the north, you can see a bunch of people training, uh, as well to the east. You can see that. Uh, so most likely this is the door you want to go into. I knock on the door. Um, you'd have to climb up. I climb up and knock on the door. Much better. Um, you climb up and knock on the door, and um, you are you are greeted by a small Swift Nevlin. Uh, you see him holding a shield and a dagger. He kind of opens it up and says, "Uh, what do you want?" Uh, I am Hibari. Uh, Who? missionary and ranger. Oh. I am Arcanian, the great owner of Kernid. You're here to help you reclaim Blingdon Stone. Okay, my character sheet is ready. Nice. Nice. He says, um, very well. And he kind of, he kind of opens the door. Uh, inside, you can see what appears to be... Uh, let me show you here. Oh, oh come these are uh, my associates, Matthias and Eowyn. Um, as you as you say that to these kind of smaller guards in front, you uh, look on and you can see that the there is a small sort of devil in the back. Uh, he's wearing some regal clo clothes as well as a wooden crown. Uh, the crown seems ornate. He's talking to a gnome and a halfling. Uh, he seems oh, to be a very handsome gnome and a very fat little halfling. He seems to be commending them for the recent uh, works they've done for Blinden Stone. Mostly me. Really? Someone's saying something good about me? Uh, he says, well, your, your no. work, um, you, uh, uh, ever since you um, did what you did, we've had no issues with the, um, with the drow uh, undead. Uh, you, you did claim you killed him, right? This is this is new to me. This is did I miss stuff. Is this, uh, this 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 is not picking. This 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 is new for sharp. This is, is he talking to me? He's talking to Lival. Okay, uh, I will say. Well, I mean, you're probably not gonna have to deal with him for a long time. Are undead really dead ever? He laughs and nods and says, "Agreed." I will still have to get me my crown back, but that is a job for a later date. And he kind of looks over your shoulders, which they can do because you're both small. And he sees uh, Hibari and Elwin both kind of hunching to stay in this probably about four foot tall room. 
and um, you see Siege enter and says, um, please excuse me, and he kind of, kind of issues the Hibari and Elwyn to come in. Greetings. And to what do I owe the honor of giants in my domain? I've hardly ever been called a giant before. He says, you are among, you are among the land of the gnomes. You are an, a giant if I've ever seen one. I am a halfling. A Hibarius? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that your character betrays you. He's talking to Elwyn then, and Matthias if he's a half half elf. Matthias is also a halfling. I, I hit him in the guts and I say, "You call this giants?" Okay. Well, he was talking to Elwyn. Is that better? Are you happy now? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Surrounded by fucking hobbits. Is... <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you know. Um. So yeah, uh, he issues to ask you to come in. Please, uh, join in. Uh, so what do I owe the pleasure? The king asks. Quiet group, aren't you? The king observes. Elwyn actually said something. Oh, okay, I apologize. Uh, is there Elvin Spielberg? I see... I lean into the king and say, Sir, you have to be careful with these halflings. Many of them will do ten gold worth of work and then eat fifty gold worth of your food. I give him a... He, he, uh, he gives her a nod and um, he kind of points, he kind of gives her a snap and you see uh, one of these guards start covering the food in the bottom right. <laughs> Did he say that loud enough for me to hear? No, uh, yes. I, I whispered it into the... <laughs> I, I said I leaned you, over. You, you're, you're, you're across the desk yeah, and you could say that in Gnomish if you'd like. Uh, and uh, you see this guy yeah. start covering the food. Um, he looks to Elwyn and says a, uh, a magic, um, a magic tome. It's like, that's, perhaps, um, my scepter could help you with that. And, um, after a moment, the doors behind you open, and you see a small, um, small kind of, uh, gnome enters, and, uh, he kind of gives you guys a nod. He appears to also be similar, and he kind of pushes past Tabari and Matthias. Says, um, King, we have, we have more issues. The storage problem is not going away. Uh, the king I, looks. I, I shot down a sturge earlier. They look to you and say, uh, he looks to you and say, "It'll take more than arrows to take care of this sturge problem. They've nested in the in the roof. We would need uh, we need blimps to take them all down." Have you a blimp? Why would we need a blimp in here, besides for this exact situation? I don't know, it was your idea in the first place. I chuckle a little. Kind of looks sour at all of you. He kind of wait, looks back wait. to the- who, who, was the who was the one who, uh, who said that? Who asked him if he had a blimp? That was he, buddy. Okay, I, I just mutter halflings. In, in <laughs> um, he looks to the king and he says, um, Sir, it's about time we, uh, we- we raid our own um, crypts. We have to find the orb. And he kind of sighs and says, "You're right. It is, it is about time." But um, but, but I do not want to pay disrespect to our to our ancients. He says, "Um, we, we we pay disrespect to them by by not doing this." I raise an eyebrow and say, "Need any help with that?" Um, you see the septar. And you see the septar kind of uh, motion towards. He says, uh, "King, I will take care of this." Um, do not worry. This task will be done. And kind of. I um, say. I. Th I say. I think a party such as this right now would uh, hmm. do this much more efficiently. You see him start. Uh, he starts rubbing his um his small goatee and says, um, I agree. Uh, come with me. Uh, we should talk um somewhere else. And he kind of uh, invites you to follow. The the pink two over there. Or? Yeah, pink. Okay. The guy. The guy in purple. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I'm uh, gonna go ahead and start following him. Uh, he would lead you south uh, towards the. No. Boom. Uh, he leads you right to here. Uh, he points southward and says, uh, These are our ancient um, graves, um, home to many of our people, uh, or at least a uh, resting place of many Sverf Uh We have not. We have. Uh, not used in many years, mostly because of the seven Septarchs. I have the 
I was the only one who had returned. Um, in order to access the later parts or the more um, guard parts, uh, we require either the aid of our um, the constructors um, who who guarded this area, or we require the se the seven septarchs um, um, keys. And you see him grab a small star-shaped pendant, and he starts flaunting it, saying, uh, "And it says uh, this is one of our keys. It's required to get past the areas." Uh, only awesome. one is required to get past the um, minor traps, but as you go deeper and deeper in, we require more of these things. And I say, well, where are the other keys? He he says, um, I I do not know. The, when, the, when the city fell, the Septarchs left. Some died here and were stolen by a drow. Um, others were stolen by the um, before the, the attack even happened. Well, it looks like we're going to have to get through with our wit alone. He nods and says, uh, he, he offers you this, um, the star and says, uh, perhaps this will get you far enough. I'm sure I will, and I reach out to accept the key. Uh, he gives it to you. Alright, I'll pocket that. Yeah, uh, he, he does give the key out. <laughs> um, he, uh, he gives you a nod and says, uh, I suppose you'll want to prepare before entering. Um, uh, he, he offers you a small satchel, um, it is filled with about 50 silver coins, uh, and he kind of gives you a nod and says, um, I will be watching here. Um, now, uh, he, he says, um, at the very deepest part of this cavern, or rather of our, um, area, is, um, what do you call it? Um, the deck of many things. No, it is, it is the, uh, the orb of control. It will give me the power to control the Sturges and have them leave this place. This, this, does, I, I don't like the way this, huh. I'm gonna a quick, uh, look at this little statue up there. Is that a Sturge? Um, it is not. It appears to be a dragon, actually. Does anybody okay. have, like, high wisdom? Nope. <laughs> high wisdom, maybe, like, maybe insight? As, as long as you have the That's insight skill. skill, you can make a check for it. Yeah. I, I don't trust this guy with anything called an orb of power. Uh, you can give me a check, just know that if you don't no have one, the skill, the DC increases. No one trusts yeah, I, I, not, not only do I not have the skill, but my wisdom is negative one. No. <laughs> That's a 13 for me, I don't have the skill either. <clears throat> That's cool. Um, so I have you, no you, reason to distrust you, Tom. You, you can't tell if he has some sort of um, you know, horrible plan behind it, but he, he seems good enough. Um, nice enough at the very least. Uh, Lival has worked with him once before. Um, and I believe Lival mugged him, essentially? <laughs> I wouldn't say mug. You robbed him. <laughs> uh, he says, uh, he be continues to on and says, um, Beware though, do not touch the orb with your hands. Use something else, like gloves, um, as um, it may end poorly if you try to touch it with your hands. <laughs> um, there is an emergency um, switch underneath the, uh, underneath the orb. Uh, it may cause you to be attacked by the traps that lay down there, but um, besides that, if you can withstand them, you should be able to uh, get the orb. Um, this, the designers of this place were not fools, and they knew that we might lose the keys, and that we would not want these things to be sealed beyond, beyond bars forever. The orb's magical, so it's, it's very resistant to any sort of uh, damage. Nothing's going to uh, hurt it, right? Without, uh, you know, he, seriously attempting to break he's, it. I he's mean. much more worried about the orb hurting you than you hurting, the, okay. hurting the orb. I'm gonna look at my bare hands and look at the party's hands and see if anyone's wearing gloves. Um, you can use uh, scarves or something, like, something like that if you want. Okay. I'm wearing leather armor. I choose to believe that it includes gloves. Uh, yeah, leather covers all parts of your body, including your the soles of your feet. So when the spike tra tra attack, spike trap attacks you, you'll have to make an attack roll. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um. So you. Uh, he says. Um. Um. Please be careful down there. It is. It's been trapped by uh, tinkerers long, long ago. Um. They, de they devised it ingeniously. Um, uh, I'll turn to my. Th oh, sorry. Where are you going? No. Go ahead. I'll turn to Matthias and say, "Well, I'm pretty sure you guys just got here through the Great Maze. Wouldn't you want to take a rest and recuperate?" Well, I'm fine. 
Yeah, they didn't actually do anything. Right, there. Just, not that we know that. But, uh, you, you guys can still take some time and rest if you like. Yeah, just chill, maybe find some items. There are parts of the city you could explore. That's uh, true. Uh, I'd like to head over to... Uh, he, he holds is there like a market district? Yeah, there is. Uh, he holds us up at hand first before you guys leave and says, are, do you have any questions before you leave that I might aid you with? Uh, I've been That's down... Hard. I've been down here uh, before, but I have no idea how the traps work. I've I've never triggered them myself. I've always had the keys, so uh, I unfortunately cannot help you in uh, telling you where the traps what the traps are. But I do know that the traps are always shown. You will never be surprised say, by a trap. I say, any chance of any of them swift ne or gnomes coming back up from the graves? Uh, he laughs and says, um, not unless um, not not as long as the druid. Is still uh, not a problem. He looks alive and gives him a nod. Uh, and, what time of the day is it? Um, doesn't matter. You're underground. <laughs> I mean, as in biological clock. Uh, there is no. It was your biological clock was reset a long time ago. Uh, after marching for like twelve hours and then sleeping for like you know nine, you you forget when's when. So we go in a week for like a few hours. Um, you guys, are, yeah, I'd say for a few hours. Uh, but but we, I can't say that's certain about happenstance in life. I, I would say it's probably about midday for a lot of us. Yeah, well, it's been, we, we've been leisuring around, not doing much, so... My pouch is empty. Uh, I have really nothing to go look and buy or search for. Oh, uh, he did give you I, a I pouch like of 50 to... silver. Yeah, I am holding a pouch of 50 yeah. silver. It was given to you guys. Okay, it was given to one of you. A paltry amount. What will ten silver get us in this town? I say I don't know. Maybe the Magic Emporium has some cheap goods. Yeah, That's true. Like, it's up. This place oh, the Magic right. Emporium. I'll live them. Oh right. Well, actually, it may seem bordered up. But that's just a ruse. I can get us in, and there's actually a rather shrewd lady in there. But we might be able to get something. This place got oh. Magic Emporium. I like this. Other story. than that. The general store is closed and being used as a hospital, so the only thing you can really buy around here seems to be food. Um, you can, there, there are general items you can purchase um, from the market, but they're usually poor quality and expensive. Oh, really? I didn't even know that, but yeah, I guess there's that too. You, you have known that from your time in the city, so that's why I just gave it to right. you now. Well, God, I can afford anything magical, but if there's a place selling magic stuff, I want to go there. We can check it out first, and then get something more practical from the general market. Uh, I'll start walking towards the Magic Emporium. Um, he halts you once more, um, Miglin, or not Miglin, uh, Pink Two, and uh, he say, says, um, he he kind of gives out a sigh and says, um, now I I know uh, I cannot offer you a reward, although the king can. Um, however, if if you please, you may um take from the dead. Um, in the in the graves, they they do not need their items anymore, and if you do not take it, we will. Um, so especially I'm glad I have as, this blessing. especially at this time. Well. Um, but he says, be warned, as um they are quite the, the traps that guard them are quite deadly. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but um, but but note that you will you will never there will never be a trap that you cannot see, or that you will not will not see beforehand. Wait, there will be, or there there will not be. This is this is meant. This okay. place is meant to be trafficked by priests. There would not be a surprise. Okay. Uh, yeah, do you I... know if uh, they sell any eleven foot poles in your market? Eight silver is the equivalent to twenty five dollars. Uh one silver is. Damn. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a day's wage. So you get a paid poorly, and everything's expensive. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. But, um, so that's why, we, that's why when you get a hundred gold, it's like twenty five hundred dollars. So that's a lot. Okay, I, I laugh after Matthias says the potion thing and says, "You got fifty gold to spare." Uh he's gonna go off then. Uh, I, I definitely over. want. I definitely want to check out this uh, magic import. No. Okay, then I will again start heading towards, expecting people to follow. Off to the Magic Emporium. Magic Emporium is that way for those who are not aware. You can use the uh, arrow keys, by the way, to move. It does make what? things faster. Uh, isn't it this great? Is, no. 
This is not something I knew about. Yeah, it makes oh, it much guys, faster. You just be moving around with my arrow keys all the whole time. <laughs> I, you, you know, I, I did. I couldn't tell. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give three good solid knocks and just wait there. Cool. Um, after about thirty seconds, the door opens and a small elderly Swerf Neblin, uh, her face wrinkled and cracked like the dirt, um, she opens the door and says, "Oh, you again." And she kind of shakes her head as she opens the door. Um, nice as work, she, it's like glad to see me. She returns to her small chair and begins rocking. Uh, as you enter in, you see this place looks nothing like the outside. It's it's very clean and there are items on display. You see a, a incredibly detailed um, model ship. Um, it looks as if it was a real ship that had been sunk. Um, in addition, you see uh, what appears to be a table filled with um, receipts and things of that nature and a display case with um, small magic items inside of it. Uh, you can see glowing uh, stones and glowing coins. Um, nothing too big and fancy though. Uh, of course you see, you also see some uh, some kind of leather armor. It looks like it's meant for A, a, a small creature, and B, a woman. I say, these are new adventurers coming to Lingdon Stone and they wanted to uh, see your shop and maybe be future customers. Uh, she kind of, she kind of gives her a sign, says, "Very well, look around." It's your turn. Okay. Um, I very politely go up to the uh, old woman and uh, I ask her, as as you know, nicely as I can. Uh, I say that we're planning on descending into the. Uh, into the crypt and ask her if there's anything she's selling that she knows of that might be uh, helpful uh, in this endeavor. I see her um, start stroking her uh, beard hair. Yes, she's old. And her um, whiskers. She, her whiskers. Yeah, she says, "Um, well, it'll be dark there. Do you require light?" I think we have enough torches, unless you have something that would be easier to hold. Mm. Uh, she says, um, I have this uh, medallion. Uh, well, she says, well, it's a coin, but we can, I can fashion it into a medallion quite quickly. Okay. Says, um, does anybody, does anybody uh, here not have dark vision? Uh, uh, every, every halfling. <laughs> Athletes don't have dark vision. Okay. No. Nope. Uh, They're hobbits. I asked her about the uh, history of the medallion or the uh, coin. The coin? Um. Well, she says it was uh, the first coin minted by the bank, and she kind of points northward. Uh, before it was uh, closed down. Um. It was it was the first coin minted there. Um. And the, so they kind of made it special. Um. Eventually, it was uh the the owner of the bank uh asked me to enchant it. Uh, it was it was stolen by him. Um, he died, and several year, years later, it um it found its way back to me. Uh, somebody sold it to me for a um, oh. moderate price. I'll butt in and say that sounds like a lot of history. Probably expensive. Why don't you just enchant us a normal coin? Uh, she says um it would be much cheaper for you for an old coin than a new one. Well, it shine just as brightly. She nods and she says, "If you if you're willing to wait the few weeks while I prepare, um, that's a hundred percent acceptable." I s suddenly say, "Well, actually, we do not have that much time. <laughs> not uh, much for the." Co uh, I apologize for my uh, compatriots' rudeness. <laughs> no, and no, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, she she's kind of put off by your odd dialect of surface gnomish, um, but she still accepts your apology. Uh, she says it'll cost you. I'm not yeah. a deep gnome, but still. Yeah. Uh, she says with the amount of scuffs on it, she says she could give it to you for a hundred silver. Uh, it's kind of been sitting there for a while. She's looking to get rid of it. There's some space. It's like the might want it, or I mean the halflings might want it. I say. I look around. How many other things on display are there? Ah, uh, there are many. There are small stones that seem to also glow, but not glow as in brightly, but glow as in they're made of ma they're magical. Um, and you see just small trinkets, a couple of scrolls, um, however, the uh, price tag on most of these items is in the hundreds of golds. Okay, I, oh, everything is actually tagged in price? Um, most of them are, uh, most of them are tagged and priced, yeah. Okay, are there, how many things are there that are under, uh, 40 gold pieces? 
Um, there is a small stone that uh, glows that is under forty gold. That's under forty gold pieces, and uh, it's about yeah, it's about ten gold too. And there's that necklace. Everything else is is definitely above. Okay, I ask her what the uh, what the stone uh, what the enchantment on the stone does. She looks at you and says, "You have a good eye." Says this stone. Um, it was enchanted by um by some I forget what they're called, but they're um there's tiny rock elementals. Um, mm -hmm. And they enchanted to um, to kill a very large uh, elemental that was causing us issues a while back. Um, it, it, it basically it's a plus one plus one magic. Um, yeah, Pex. Thank you, Owen. It was a Peck that enchanted it. It's a uh, it's a plus one uh, plus one rock um, that does magical damage. Um, however, since it's only a rock, it does about one d four damage. Huh. Weird. So it's just a throwing weapon. That does 1d4 plus 1 damage. Essentially, but it's also magical damage in case you need to fight something you know, that's huh. resistant to physical weapons, like a giant elemental. I'm intrigued. I ask her if... Uh, I know this won't shed like much light, if any, uh, that matters, but I ask her if she can fashion that into a uh, necklace as well, or a pendant. Uh, she says it would be useless as a pendant. Why would you want it as well, such? I, 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 I would like to uh, keep it around my neck oh, so yeah. that if I should need it, I could just grab it and uh, pull it off. She sighs and says, give me ten minutes and I could do something to that effect. I hand her ten gold and, cool. uh, and thank her. Cool. I kind of, my eyes widen as you hand over such a large amount of money and say, where'd you get that? Various jobs. <laughs> Um, at this time, Elwyn, are uh, you there? Just to give like an exclamation point. Uh, you're there. Perfect. Um, so uh, at this point, um, a certain guard seems to walk by you. Okay, um, pause it first. Yeah, very I, angry dog in the Yeah, I'm so, uh, somebody's leaving, and that's causing people to the dog to scream out. Um, okay. uh, you, a guard sort of walks by you, and uh, he kind of taps you on the um, on your grieve, kind of ask you to come down. Um, and he kind of whispers in your ear, ear as you do, um, to meet him, uh, by the glowing, um, meet him by the glowing, um, mushrooms. And he keeps yeah, on going. Well, I gotta wait here for a stone, so I can't stealth after him. Yeah. So, oh. Elwyn looks confused as the, as the gnome soldier walks forward. I hear them say that and he didn't it was, whisper I say is he still whispering back uh but he wouldn't whisper glowing shrooms um he would probably say glowing shrooms and you'd be able to see that whole thing happen assuming say, you're oh, outside yeah, I'll tell them yeah I'm outside well I mean no I'm yeah. inside I, I well, shouldn't you, hear it then yeah you, you're, you're alive all right you're, you're on your side have any master work uh, or better crossbow bolts they certainly do not and they'd be expensive uh, especially now here, this is an enchantry, not a um, a forge. This place doesn't have a forge. Can you enchant one of my weapons? Um, it would take weeks, and it would take well, a lot of gold. I'm gonna join my cousin outside. Happenstance of love, and I can use his keys. Uh, I'm just that kind of person. I'm the, I'm the person <laughs> in the MMO group that whenever nothing's happening, he runs jumping around, around in a circle. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm me just, too. I'm antsy naturally. Yep, gotta keep moving. He body, um, he body looks around and says, "I say we make tracks. Let's head down and get this finished." Do I have my stone yet? You do have your stone now. I'm assuming that live on Elwyn is talking outside. Yeah, I'll, I'll say to Elwyn, oh, glowing mushrooms, uh, that's probably up north by the, the guide's ho uh, hobble. <laughs> I'd be happy to bring you there. Heck if I know, who knows what these gnomes are up to. Says the halfling. <laughs> Halflings are pretty jolly. They're always happy. Halflings are usually fucking rogues. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> I have a, there's a 
halfling. I have a halfling warlock um guy. That's not helping the case. <laughs> what? <laughs> Want to be fighters? Time or bodies? Remember what happened with the last warlock? No, I don't. He's the rage quit. They have to use a sorcerer. Is that a sorcerer? I use thought, a sorcerer. Uh, was the warlock the one that stuck? Oh. Okay, you're right. No, that warlock <laughs> is pretty cool. The sorcerer was You the monster. You're, you're a racist, that's causing issues. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm racist against halflings. We live in a freaking D&D &D world. I yeah. mean, I think racism is par for the course here. Yeah, uh, so we uh, guys... We you're guys the go. one putting us up against orcs. Ah! I didn't do anything. Any affirmative action going on I there. say, you guys can go to the crib now, but I need to get something from the general provisions. Right. Goodbye. <laughs> wow, alright. Go there by myself. I don't need you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Cool. Uh, so you're gonna go to get some supplies, I assume? While the rest yeah, of people are doing their stuff? You said it was this way, right? Yeah. Uh, which, you, you go and you can see people um, on the tables. They're kind of uh, have some displays going. Which oh, they cleaned up the corpses pretty good in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can see some blood stains still on the ground. Um, however, give me one second. I just want to look at my thing. Um, people in the wards. Um, roll me two d twenty, please. Both of us? Uh, anyone. Just one person, honestly. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go with 17 to 20. Um, so that would mean, uh, as you guys look in, you could see, uh, somebody is making, um... Yeah, there, there appears to be somebody selling books, uh, books of all kinds. In addition, somebody else is, um, basically set up a small, uh, butcher shop. Um, you look around, you can't see anything more than that, really. Uh, I go over to where the books are. Where are the books? Uh, the books would be on this table right here. Uh, so, it was just a butcher and the books, you said? Yeah, unfortunately that, that's all that all people have set up. There's not, there's not a great variety in. Okay, oh well. Cool. Uh, butcher, can you take this storage and slice up some prime cuts for us? Maybe, uh, take it in trade? <laughs> I kind of I, sarcastically say, oh yes, Prime Lizard. You know, he gives her a laugh and he says, um, absolutely. And he starts, um, you see him cut out the cheeks and he says, oh, that's mine. And, um, kind of puts them to the side and then he starts cutting up the rest for you. About ten minutes later you have, um, a bunch of these raw, um, uh, raw things. Uh, in addition he gives you a, sp a big red pouch that just seems bloated and ready to explode. He says, um, this is its, um, its stomach. It, uh, it got its filling. Say so you don't think Sturgis eat any coins, do you? Uh, he laughs and says, uh, that's not their style. Drat. I'm looking for interesting books here. Cool. Uh, give me a roll. Um, you do I, find... Uh, yeah, it's, it was a bad roll. No, no, uh, that tends a good roll. Um, because it's like a medium difficulty, honestly. Um, so you do yeah. find, you don't, I mean, if you got 20, you'd find, like, a spell book or something, the guy didn't know. Um, but with 10, you do find a book about, uh, beasts and, um, underground creatures. I ask the, uh, keep how much it is. Uh, it says, oh, 10 silver. 10 silver for a book? That's, the silver is $25. This is a non-magical book. It's, remember I'm that books are difficult to write because not everybody reads and writes. So, and you have to, nope. you can't, no printing press, it's, he, uh, he's not gonna buy that unless you're really convinced me. I say, I'll give you seven silver for it. I like you, I like halflings, it's a deal. <sighs> nice, and I, I'll reach into that pouch, pink, or, cool. yeah, well, gave I, us was gonna, I was gonna try to get for five silver, start using my persuasion. Charisma, yeah. But, uh, but he's I'm happy I'm with hard, seven. Man. Yeah, exactly. I learned the hard but way. You need not, to say since something he's smart. Already, since he's already <laughs> offered seven, I can't even. No, yeah. uh, he gives it to Livo, um quickly. Nice. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll take a seat and just like quickly skim through it and see if I can find anything on Sturges. Oh, easily. You go to the section marked S and you find Sturges. 
Um, they're small beasts. They like to suck blood. Um, chances are, if they they the chances are they can't get past your armor, but if they do, they will never stop sucking your blood until they actually drain you. Um, so you have to start punching them off or getting them off somehow. Uh, prying them off. They literally is are just flying lampreys, aren't they? I'm not sure what a lamprey is, but sure. It's an, it's it's an eel. Have you never seen those eels that are basically just uh, ha hang on? Uh, is there any diagram of it? Um, there is a diagram. It even shows the best meat, and you can see the cheeks are are marked out. Do um, I recall the picture from anything else? Um, no. Besides the dead no. body of the sturge. No butterfly wings. No, not even close. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll show the book picture. and say... Oh, go ahead. I put a picture of the Lamprey in both the uh, Skype chat and the... Uh, okay, I didn't want to see that. Oh, Ooh, chat. yep, it's it's like that with wings. Man, okay. it's a good yeah, creature. It's, it's just a eel. It's a eel. It's gonna haunt my dreams, anyway. I close <laughs> the book and say, anyone else want to have a read? Yeah, I, uh, I hold up my hand. It's, it's only really useful if you if you can see the creature. If you, um... Rather, if you know what you're looking for, if, if you just go through, I'm not going to tell you about owl, but owl bales or anything like that. Same. Alright, then I guess we should go down into the crypts, unless you want to do anything else. Aye, he buddy's ready for going to the crypts. Aye, cool. uh, you guys just want to teleport start, there? Uh, I pull out my bagpipes, and I start playing a marching tune. <laughs> I groan as I begrudgingly follow him. Cool. Is that the right word? Begrudgingly? Yes. Yeah, it means yeah. he doesn't want to follow you. Alright, nice. But he feels obliged to. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have to go this way. Uh, well, the guards, I, mean, I guess I, I do feel obliged. Yeah. The guards halt your, your approach. Uh, I'll reach in my pocket and show them the star-shaped key. They Say, give can you, we go in? Or... They give you a nod and they get out of the way. I uh, go back. Aylwin, are you joining us? <laughs> uh, I'm going to just I, grab I, him and bring him I stop having stance to before pipe. I go. Wait, I'm going to stop you before you go and say we should probably get some light before we go down there. I pull out a torch from my pack, or I pull out like three torches from my pack and uh, hand them to the halflings. I look towards some more sophisticated. Oh, I guess we can go there as we're talking. Look yeah. at more sophisticated people and say, "Do you know any magic spells of light?" Uh, I do not. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Considering my vision, light has never been uh, too interesting a field of study for me. All right, no light spells. We're good. Let's just keep going. Well, uh, you guys walk down until eventually you reach a large door. Um, it's kind of like a cellar door. It's kind of tilted about forty-five degrees, and you can see that symbol of the star is uh, embedded in it. Um. Uh, where wanna, are uh, we? Um, it's it's this isn't the place yet. Uh, you guys are in darkness oh, okay. at the moment. I'm gonna just do a quick look at it and see if there's a keyhole or anything else of interest. Do you want me to roll? Um, okay, you can give me a roll. Inve investigation. Uh, investigation. Yeah. Uh, and, my and also, in what knowledge. order do you guys want to go down? Wait, what was that? In what order do you guys want to go down? Uh, let's see. We don't have anybody tankish, do we? What 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 classes are all of us? Uh, we have a sorcerer, or is that a wizard? A mage, mage? Uh, a bard, mage, a rogue. Is mage its own class? Uh, we cannot see you, buddy. Wizard. Okay. Oh, I can see you. Yes, I can see you. Can you hear me? We can hear oh, you. Oh, there it is. Yes. Hundred percent. Wonderful. You. It's good enough. Wonderful. Though. Uh, it's a little. A little staticky, but yeah, but it'll, it'll do. Yeah, cool. Okay, better than nothing. Yeah, it's I'm incredibly better. Than okay, if I turn, I'm gonna see if I turn off video. If it also turns off sound, because that would suck. <laughs> yeah, please uh -oh. do. I'm gonna check that. Good. Can you still hear me? Perfect. Yes. Yep. You sound nice. great. Okay. This, is, this makes um, me happy. I guess it's working for now. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, now we gotta do his work as Elwin. <laughs> Because what I did is I went to Skype test call and I called it and recorded a message and it played back to me. So the microphone does work. No, oh, nice. Um, no, I think your microphone doesn't work. I, I haven't heard a single thing from you all night. <laughs> yeah, it's true. He's got, he's got a point. 
Um, right. so you, uh, you we'll end up getting a better mic though in the future. Yeah. Uh, Lival, with a with your check, you uh, look around and you see that there's all these little holes um, inside of the on the sides of the star shaped um, thing, and you look at your star shaped uh, pendant, and you can see there's a bunch of little kind of holes on that too. All right, I say, well, here goes nothing, and I try to fit it in. Cool. Uh, you press it in there, and um, you can hear some kind of gear start ramping around and swirling within there. Until um, really? it eventually opens up. I apologize. I had to use that. <laughs> um, uh, you guys are right here. This and it's supposed uh, you, to be pure black, right? It's, it's supposed to be pure black. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now, uh, you walk down several sets of stairs until eventually uh, it goes flat. Uh, ahead of you, you can see um, there's a large drop. Uh, the roof is about you know 20, 20 feet high. And um, as you start walking, you begin to feel like the ground is soft, despite it being clearly metal. Um, you think you're standing on pressure plates. Huh. That is not good. Yeah, it's well, bad. I think we're fine. I think we're fine here, maybe because we got the star. Yeah. I, well, it, no, I because we're deeper. past that. No. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, you guys are up here. Um, as you approach, you see a similar device right there. Um, it has one star kind of on it, and um, it appears to be yeah, once again similar. Uh, Elwyn is turning on his magic armor, and uh, ahead of you, you can see that there is a quite a drop. And uh, who's actually carrying the light? Uh, I gave all of the halflings a torch. Cool. Oh, okay. so... Doesn't mean they're using it though. Uh, so yeah, I'm not so using what... mine. I'm, I'm I threw it in my bag. I'm just yeah. using the other people's light. I'm holding on to one. Okay, uh, who said that? Uh, Lightbulb. Cool, thank you. Uh, you know the token, I like that. Okay, um, so uh, Lival, kind of coward, in the back. Um, cool, so you stand there, and as you stand there, once again, you can feel more of those kind of things draw under, underneath your feet, um, kind of, uh, kind of being pressed in. I look to your left and your right, and you can see these long hallways, in addition to graves at the end. And um, you can actually see some more of these things uh, right there, and uh, right there. Uh, they All seem right. they, they each seem to have a little star inside of them. All right, I'll say quickly, the, the imprint we... of a star. All right, I'll say we should have someone be on the lookout for anything in particular. Who has the sharpest eye among us? Not me. <laughs> I have a plus three. Can anyone beat that? Wait, wait. No. For perception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my perception is... Because we're all low on wisdom, I think. Yeah, my perception is one. And I'm actually trained in it. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll go for per I, the role. I got then. nada. Alright, I'll do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, That's not going to do us yeah, any good. Uh, you're, you're, you're really focused on the on the floor right now, Lival, because it keeps, fall, uh, keeps kind of, you know... Um, when you walk, it keeps kind of giving you like a, like a quarter inch, and uh, it's kind of soft and springy. Um, as you as you approach, though, once again, you do notice the other um, star-shaped pattern um, hole in this um, this kind of little thing. Divot. I say, oh, another star uh, key. I guess if it's not a door, we should probably ignore it. It may be a trap. Well, the st what the star would be a trap, you think? Yeah, I mean, I if mean, someone stars... stole this and got ahead, then they would try this, obviously, and what do you know, a big spike in the wreck. Mm -hmm. I'll let you try it. I, I don't care. I, I just feel like, uh, wasn't the point of the stars to uh, deactivate the traps? Ivo doesn't recall that, but perhaps you do. Uh, am I, I misremembering him? this? Anybody? This is all you. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna put the star in the thing. I should probably hand it to you first. Oh, you I thought you did. You put the star in there. All right. Yeah. Why not? Cool. Uh, it's the worst that could happen. We you die. put it in there, and you hear you hear a couple of clicks from within it, and uh, you hear a clock start ticking. That okay. is not a good sign. I think we should move. I think we should yes. move with swiftness. I cool. said that as a free action. All right. Then I'm gonna go back the, towards the way we came. Cool. No problem. 
Uh, you guys back run back towards where I, hope, I assume all of you do. Uh, Habari? Yeah, that's six sense. I'm still back there. Yeah, cool. Uh, Habari stays there. Oh, you're still back there, cool. Um, I'm back. You, you all run back, and uh, after about 60 seconds, you hear the ticking stop. Nothing seems to happen. Oh boy, this must be a puzzle. I feel like that may have opened a door somewhere? Perhaps? Perhaps, but maybe we should explore, but be careful. Yeah, that is it. absolutely my uh, my feelings on the subject. What are, yeah, what are the odds that that opens something that we need to pass through within the time limit? I, I remind you that the ticking is stopped. Yeah, yeah. So we should resume it again and explore. Alright, whoever's got the highest uh, passive perception here. Uh, Mike's should. 13. But he, I think John does it, the DM does it differently. Like, we have a roll at the beginning, and then that's what we use the that's, whole way. That's generally what I prefer. If you guys all pick okay. a roll. Um, okay, um, so did you put the thing star back in there, or are you just gonna. Can I use investigation instead of perception here? That, that's um, for, like, for touching what? things. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's for touching, if you're touching on the sides and the walls and things like that. Um, did you put the star back in? Uh, no. Okay, um, then good news, everybody. Um, to the three people who are in the middle of there. Um, oh, man. Toof. Toof. Uh, two of these massive, um, spiked, um, look like uh, metal logs. Chained to the roof, you see fly out, um, and you see them begin to swing towards you. Um, let's get right. dexterity saving throws. Um, oh, boy. In addition, do you guys want to go high, go low, or do you want to like, jump over, try to jump over him? Do you want to try to duck under him? Or do you just want to try to jump out of the way? Note that as a to... Habari, that is a 30 foot drop I want to mention. Oh. Oh, in that case, never mind. I will try to jump back towards the entrance and I'll do a roll for that. Cool, cool. I will use Vicious Mockery <sighs> on the uh, trap. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the trap cannot be damaged. You know, someone could help us out and, you know, pull me in. That'd be great. So I could get is advantage. That, is that allowed? Is that allowed? To be pulled in? I will, pull, I will pull somebody action. out of there. Um, yeah, I will use my help action <laughs> on, uh, on Aelwyn's. I'll, I'll allow you to use it to give, give, him, give him, like, a plus one. Uh, dexterity saving throw. That's Ooh, not good enough. Matthias, please. Matthias, please. <laughs> Just give me a ten. Uh, so, Habari, what were you saying you were doing? You gonna try to what? Uh, well, uh, Habari is enjoying their their matrix. This, no, uh, was the the one directly in front of him? He's gonna, I guess, assist and step back as he pulls him back. Okay, cool. sorry. So I have a ten. Um, is that enough? Uh, ten uh, to jump out of the way. Um, it's yes, yeah. it's enough to give him a plus two. Uh, so that means Lival got an eleven. Um, yeah. I'll say I'll say it's I, enough to I go jump out of the But I don't think the uh, I don't think the plus two there is going to be enough. Not with such a low roll now. And yeah, um, sorry. and uh, what, were you, what were you trying to do, Elwin, when these two things were swinging towards you? Were you trying to jump up or jump he out of the way? He ducks. He tries to he duck. Ducks. Cool. And how about you, Havari? Uh, I'm going to do the matrix ducking. Matrix ducking. Cool. <laughs> um, now, unfortunately, this trap was meant to attack gnomes, so it swings low. Um, nice. As it approaches, as you guys go to duck, they swing and slam into you. Use a halfling. Yeah, and, and it's meant to attack halflings who are ducking. It, it, oh, essentially, okay. it essentially, it almost drags the ground. It gets really close. Um, right. This thing slams into you guys. I'm going to be generous and have you not be horribly murdered. Uh, you each take two points oh. of damage. Um, do you see these things kind of tilt, um, tilt a bit? And they smack each other. Uh, with the spikes before you guys actually get um, hit, so it only really a little bit of spike damage you take. Um, Even Habari, it's taken full damage. We wouldn't have noticed that they were slow and low because I got a 23, you know? I, I um, feel like that 23 would have given him the reaction time he needed to realize that wasn't about to work and to do something else. Well, yeah. I mean, that's what they Dex were, is for. Yeah, they were swinging down. Yeah, that's, that's the thing I want to give you guys these choices, so they can, um, even if you do the right thing, you can, even if you do the wrong thing, you know, if you, uh, even if you get a good roll, you can still fail because you chose a bad decision. But, um, yeah, I'll also take half damage. Um, you kind of get that, your foot... That just seems reasonable. As you duck and then you see this happening, you jump up and your leg kind of gets caught on one of the spikes, and, uh, so you only take one point of damage. Um, however, these things, uh, you see them go back over here, two little, um, little jets come out and start spraying them with water. You see the blood start spraying, um, start dripping into small holes in the ground. 
as these things slowly begin being sucked back up into um into the into the roof. With great surprise, I say, "Oh man, I told you it was a trap." Uh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, before, right, right, just stop everything right there. Uh, well, it, it takes like ten minutes to get back up on. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, so you got, you if got that's time. the case, I'm going to suggest that uh, those of us that have anything that can possibly break those chains uh, do so immediately. Um, wait, these are they're wooden, right? Um, it looked like they're painted, um, to be looked like they're wooden, but they're actually, uh, metal. Oh, uh... The chains well. are gonna be the weakest spot, regardless. I mean, look at them. I think none of us have a hammer or anything. Um, uh, I got, got a fire bolt. But I don't... They're not exactly flammable, but I can still probably char the, the metal off. That's not gonna... Perhaps my plus one rock... I'm just gonna, Go just gonna try bashing right at the top. Or, Aye, I, gentlemen, we know that the I'm... trap is here. We can just avoid it on the way out. Why don't we move further and get to the task at hand? I, I would really prefer. Uh, it's, it's I'm gonna hard. answer that question with spite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. So you you gonna try to attack their defenses essentially? So I'm I'm just going to. Uh, this is gonna end see. poorly. Hang on. I'm glad I'm not the only one that thinks this will end poorly. It's still Can going I... up. It's going to be like nine more minutes before they're oh, no. fully up. If I just this will end poorly, he's just amused. <laughs> he's going to knock it down, and then it's going to fall right back and slam up against the wall. It's not going to... Don't worry, I'm, I'm not that dumb. As they're doing that, I, I approach and I peek around the corner of the north and south. Yeah, you look to the south, you see another one of these drops, as well as it kind of turns to the room. Uh, you look and you see to your north and to the, um, north and to the west are two kind of small, kind of grave, uh, coves. Okay, so how is that? Uh, if we're trying to break a chain, uh, roll yeah. me damage. No, you should, uh, I, oh, not oh, run oh. It. Yeah, because this, this Head is not going to do that much damage. You definitely did not realize you're actually giving it health. Well, it's it would also have resistance. Yeah, this it will it'll take you um a while to to burst through with this rock. You had like a hammer or something. Rock. Yeah, but if it was like a it was like a war hammer, it'd be like oh yeah, I just keep slamming it. But it was like a little rock. Magic. Rock. <sighs> um. So yeah, yeah, you 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 see some dents start forming, but um. I, I... And it I starts blow to bend my a little bit. angry angrily at it, and uh, they echo it. throughout the cavern. Good. I step back and I say, "Shh." Nice, nice work, genius. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Is this another one of those star things? Uh, it is. It's a bard. It is. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and not. I'm gonna uh, go it, ahead and leave the. It appears to be a another. It appears to be another one star. They all, there's only one star pattern in there. Right, I'm gonna go in where uh, Hibari is carefully following his footsteps so as not to trigger any traps you, he did not. Every time you step, you can feel um the ground beneath you, kind of giving so, you so half every inch, a quarter inch. Every, everything every, here is every, pressure. Plate. Every plate here seems to be a pressure plate. Uh, can I look around for any like loose rocks that are on the ground? You find none. This place oh. is clean. What exactly is in that room that we're looking at? Is that like um, sarcophagi or is it gravestones? It, it appears to be um, it appears to be a sarcophagi essentially. Um, you can you see they're it? they're incredibly the dusty. Like? Um, objections to opening one of these up and uh, you, look you look at, at the inside? ceiling and you can see it actually looks like there's tracks up there. Tracks? You yeah, you, like tracks is in something that you could put like a, like a railroad kind of tracks. Um, you look ah. over to the um, to the spiked kind of. Um, the spike kind of throwing things, you can see that they were partially on track. Let's see, Hibari. Uh, yes. Uh, get out of there for a moment. I want to see what the uh, star thing does, and if it activates a trap in there, I'd rather you not be in it. I just want to retrace my footsteps out. Cool. I say, yeah, you can activate that, but I'll just go where it's safe if you don't mind. I would me. suggest though. I would suggest all of you actually go back uh, to where we started. 
Uh, fine. You guys all start running back. This way, if it does activate a trap, only I'll have to take the brunt of it. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, Matthews and Harbari, do you want to join them, or...? Yes. Cool. Put you guys in there. Yeah, uh, go ahead. All right. I go ahead and, uh, put the star into the thing. Uh, you begin hearing that same tick 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 you did before. That, that ticking clock sound. Uh, it's over in this general area. Uh, these guys hear it below them. Well, mm. see, the last time we did this, it, you know, set up a trap. Do we I feel know like that these are set up the trap though, because none of yeah, us yeah, because last time that far out. Before. I guess we didn't. I uh, Matthias you... shrugs and says, "Well, why don't we just simply proceed? Obviously, none of us are smart enough to figure out how this works. I certainly am not. I don't pretend to be. I have, I have a theory. I believe." There may be several of these that cause that ticking. Perhaps if we were to hit all of them before the ticking stopped, of course, we would do well to do this after we've finished exploring the entire crypt. Perhaps then something would happen. On the other hand, what if we're exploring the crypt and it just triggers more traps, and activating this is what stops the traps from working? There are too many variables. Even I get that. I'm just going to walk over to where they are treading old ground. Cool. No problem. And I'm going to hit this one as well. Cool. You put in, because... um, you, you, you hear the ticking continue. Um, it seems to be the same ticking uh, as the other one. Hmm. Well, that didn't seem to do anything, so I suggest we explore further before using the star again. Does anyone have a rope? I do. I have no. much rope. In addition, as you guys look forward over this hill, you can see several uh, strange things in the distance. Oh my. What appears to be a very large mechanical soldier. Um, it appears to be hanging from the, from the ceiling. Okay. Uh, but it's kind of, it's kind of limp. Uh, you can also see, you can see most things over there hanging from the ceiling. Well, that's ominous. I say we go to the east, check out the, the hallway, and then grab a rope and go down. I say, hold, wait up. I want to try something. And, uh, I'll wait. How is it? Is it still ticking? Uh, it is still ticking, yes. And these things are going to be going up for another five, ten, five minutes. Uh, how long did it tick before? Um, it, take, it seems to take 60 seconds each time. Alright. I suppose we could keep exploring then. <clears throat> uh, can we, like, tread carefully and take twice as long and then be, like, prepared for any traps um, that might act I suppose you'd be prepared, as prepared as you can be. Mm. Oh, it might give us a bonus, so... Uh, so we should all go the same. Oh, I accidentally left the left. I'm still curious about those sarcophagi. Uh, There's clearly some sort of trap in there, but... I say we leave it be. Oh, uh, it's worth our lives. Matthias is getting impatient and he's going to start heading south. Cool. Uh, Matthias like... heads south, and you can see that there's a set of stairs uh, leading to the west, as well as the drop continues, and actually there's another drop after that. Uh, as Matthias goes that way, I say, Cousin, we still have some areas up on this level. It would be bad if there were things left behind us. Matthias turns back and says, I'm not used to this poking and prodding. And Neither am I, I sense here. I agree with your <clears throat> with your feeling. But if there's okay. something behind us, we would like to know about it. Say to Matthias, if you want to lead on and trigger all the traps, go ahead. I'll be right behind you, 20 feet back. <laughs> I pat Let's Matthias on the shoulder and say, don't worry about him, we'll take care of it. Oh. Yep, you, tr you trigger a trap that was actually <laughs> on Matthias' shoulder. <laughs> Your hand explodes. Anyway, I suggest we continue then. If Excellent. You want to. Uh, note that you have issues seeing without your good friend Libel, who is currently your light monkey. Thankfully, I do have um, I have uh, the Stark Vision thing from being a half elf. Oh, nice! I forgot you were half elf. Yeah, 
Oh, okay. I'm still oh, okay. Everybody. Complete darkness is dim light. Yeah. yeah. If you have not noticed, the traps have completely retracted. Um, no, it would. Uh -huh. It's it still it's still going up. They're just high up in the oh, air. Okay. You wouldn't even notice them. Oh, I, well, I, I guess we I, should I, I'm keeping an eye on that so yeah. that when they're completely up, I can just uh, quickly trigger them and uh, jump back away from them. Cool. Um, you, as Alan want to be where he is then, knowing that that's oh, no, one of the but dangers. Oh no, they're not up yet. I'm just saying that's no, what sure, I'm gonna sure. do. Yeah. Um, do you, do you want to just wait another five minutes for them to go completely up? Uh, sure. Cool. Um, the five minutes passed. Everyone's just kind of waiting with bated breath. We do. Tap tap. Uh, wait, so that means the ticking yeah. stopped already, right? Uh, the ticking stops every after sixty seconds of um. Right, I'll, say, I'll, I'll say that. Oh, I'll hang on. Time. I, I want to know though. Was the ticking extended by the second uh, use of the star? Hundred percent. It was. It was certainly. Ex it was hundred percent extended. Okay, so it was sixty seconds from the uh, second one, or was it two from the minutes? From the second one. Okay. Anyway, I try to uh, activate the trap. Cool. Uh, you put it in. Uh, put oh, star? Yeah. No. Wait, no. I I no. don't I don't put anything in. Oh, I, uh, no, no, what do you do? Like plate gonna... over here and then jump back. Cool. Uh, you step on the plate. And you kind of jump back and you kind of wait a moment. Nothing seems to happen. This is so don't confusing. Step back, Dash. <laughs> what do you do? I uh, step forward a little bit more before trying to jump back. Um, at that point, you do um, hear the trap kind of trigger. Um, you know the sounds, so you are aware of um, of what to do. So you basically just run back and dive, and uh, things slam okay. again. Uh, kaboom, well, that kaboom. was thoroughly pointless. Um, clearly, you can the, the, they kind of move back in position. Water starts spraying them down, and they start moving back up. All right, so we can waste it's... time and wait ten minutes again, and we might be able to uh, figure it out. Matthias is just gonna well, or just it's, blast it's... one of them with a, with a fire, uh, the fire dart, basically, and it's <laughs> sure. retracting up. So sure. spite. Okay, it's, it's, it's sorcerers are thirty percent spite. Yeah, it's scientific. Proven. Yeah, that's that's in their backgrounds. Yeah. All right, I suggest we continue then. Cool. Alan's shocking grasping, or doing a shocking grasp on the, the chains. Oh, um, if you're trying to fry the pulley system above it, that might work. Uh, give me a tactic, give some damage roll. Well, remember this is all mechanical. This is like clockwork, right? Yeah, I, yeah I, you said it was clockwork. You can't fry clockwork. Yeah, I'm thinking fry clockwork. Weird. <laughs> um, so you start shocking. You, you hear kind of, you hear stuff get up ahead. But um, or above you, but besides that, nothing seems to happen. Well, we'll know later when we come back. Well, let's continue, but tread carefully. Yep. So we should are probably we have leaving, some. Leaving the back uh, open, or are we going down? Uh, we should probably just uh, go down this. Well, yeah. I see no reason not to head down. Uh, you look that way. Um, assuming you have some sort of light, you can see that. My highest under his breath. Other than cowardice. Uh, do I get a natural explorer bonus of double proficiency bonus to my passive perception? Um, uh, unless it says you get double proficiency, then no. So it's when I make an intelligence or wisdom check related to this cave. Uh, this, this is more like a dungeon than a cave. No, it's only checks that sure, would not affect your passive. Cool. Uh, you guys approach, you see another one of these star things again? <clears throat> these star things are nothing but trouble, I tell you. Um, you kind of, you kind of run into the middle thing. bad yet. Yeah, I say we There's ignore the star thing and just proceed on. Uh, this star I, thing is... I actually have to we do the opposite. This star thing looks different than the old one. This one has two stars in it, imprinted in it. Well, not useful to us right now. Well, I, I, I feel like... One of them okay, yes, signs a trap, and one of them arms I, it. Abs no, no, no. I absolutely remember. When we were given the uh, star thing, we were told that basically having the stars would disarm the traps, but as you go further no. and further in, you need more stars to disarm right. them. There was nothing the ticking, about them arming traps. The ticking the stars are nothing stops but it. Good, and we absolutely. have a minute to get through the trap. 
It seems to me that there's probably a star up in the crypts. Well, the people who had the stars got lost. Hang on. I have an idea. It's not likely, but entirely possible that there may be a star in one of the sarcophagi. Yep. Now, I, I see the uh, star thing up here that almost certainly uh, disables the traps in the sarcophagi room up there. Possibly this one down here as well. I suggest that we search the sarcophagi. Yeah, right. I think... Yeah, I uh, think you're the ticking absolutely welcome to do that. I, would say I think the ticking stops the traps, so I offer to run in there and try to lift a sarcophagus and run out as fast as I can uh, while the ticking's going on. I can I can see in the dark. I'm actually going to stick back and make sure that nothing's pursuing us that way. Cool. Uh, uh, yeah, you you uh, wait around. You you didn't see anything. Um, I, I wait. You didn't even the, hear like a mouse or anything. I wait at the ready with the star uh, for a signal from one of my teammates. Cool. All right, I just look at happenstance and say, uh, do it. I press the star into the mechanism. You begin hearing ticking going on over here. All right, I'm going to start running in. I'm going to uh, lift a sarcophagus and just run out as fast cool. as I can. What is yep. your strength score? <clears throat> uh, minus one. Yeah, yeah, give me a roll. All right, just that a normal strength, just strength, roll. strength check, yeah. You're going to need to do one, because you have poor strength. <laughs> um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, it is a stone sarcophagi. Um, it, although it is small and thin um, compared to humans, it will um, it is uh, kind of big for you. So you, you try to push it up, it kind of gets dropped, and you have to pull your fingers out before they get smashed. Oh, but it lifted up. Oh, it lifted up, yeah, 100%. Yeah, and then as soon as it, no. I like you know drop it, I no. start running back out. Cool. Um, you kind of got all this dust and decay kind of smashed into your face, just from that ancient kind of um, ancient air that was with that dead body inside there for a while. Uh, you run back. Yeah. Um, you wait. A, you wait a little bit. Nothing seems to be happening. And Hibari is uh, doing the same thing over in the other room cool. at the same time. Yeah, with the ten strength, I'll, I'll have you do the same roll. With a plus one, you could do it freely. Plus one modifier. <laughs> oh, um, so weak. Yeah, you I um. The sarcophagus. It's not. It's not. It's not a crit fail. It's yeah. not a crit fail. It, yeah, I, I'm aware it's not yeah, a crit, crit fail. fail. Um, it's it's one of those things where you you do the similar thing where you try to lift it up and you do it, but you can't maneuver it around. And since you're so you, you can't actually see what's inside because you're a little too short. Um, so you're having the same issues. Um, I eventually you start. You can close it. If you want. Right. No, go ahead. I hand the star to Lyval and uh, say, I say that I think I'm a bit stronger in the arm than you are. Perhaps I should give it a go. Uh, I kind of uh, ashamed a little bit, say, yeah, yeah, whatever. And I'll <laughs> I hand push in the, the star. Cool. I'll, I'll push in the star again. Cool. Um, you push the star. Yep, the timer is going. You can hear the tick, 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 tick. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep track of time, and I'm gonna go for as many sarcophagi as I can. Oh, sounds good. Starting with this one, and by the way, how are you uh, setting it up so that it does the little, the nice little thing there? What nice little? Thing? Uh, the the highlighted uh, number, and when you roll over it, it tells you. Oh, brackets. Yeah. Ah, so. Uh, Double brackets. Cool. All right. Ah, uh, yeah. You just, you just grab it and you just flip it open easily. Uh, you look inside. You can see that there's a dead Sperf Nevelin. His, his hands crossed in the regular position. Two gold coins cover his eyes. Um, you can see his um, belt appears to have, uh, although the leather on appears to have um, deteriorated with time. It has a silver buckle of a small collection of gems uh, imprinted on it. Um, besides that, None you'll have to have None of them have direct line of sight to me. I'm going to attempt to uh, just grab those quickly. Sounds good. Uh, I'll hear the sarcophagus um, open. Say anything in there? As you remove the two gold coins, you kind of um, look and you can see the eyes have been eaten out by bugs. Um, it's pretty brutal. Um, but you take them, you rip off the thing. There's a little bit of leather still attached to it. And um, you throw it in your bag. I yell out a bit of treasure. Dibsies. 
I, I push in the start again and I start running in there. Great. Um, <laughs> as as you go in there, treasure too. as you go in, you can see um, happenstance. I'm assuming you go for the second one. Uh, I'm gonna go for yeah. this one again. Yeah, he's he's going for another one while you're going in. Um, can, I, can I just keep? You, yeah, you can just, just keep that. Yeah, 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 keep going. Keep going. Plus twenty. Okay, so I open up this one too. Yeah, that's good. Okay, can, wait. Tell me exactly what the things I got were. I got two gold coins, two yeah. gold coins, and a uh, gem encrusted belt, a silver belt buckle. Alright, I'm gonna well, lean over his shoulder. And I know gold inside. don't matter that much in uh, one shots, but still, I like it. Yeah, this is how I determine who wins. <laughs> Unlike Call of Cthulhu, where the first person who decides to uh, leave the area and go home is the person who wins. Um, so Lival tried to do something similar, I assume? Uh, Habari, uh, yeah. okay. Habari runs in and he um, starts trying to lift these things up. Uh, a better roll, um, you eventually do manage to slide it. You basically get into a position where it'll just slide back um, by its own weight. Uh, so you look inside and you can see a very similar thing. Two gold coins over the eyes. Um, although you don't see anything else really in that Sarkov guy. <laughs> well, I try to open it again after I get all it's worked up. the exact up same and... role as before. <laughs> um, you, 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 have, you absolutely do get to open it up, but it takes a little bit longer. You have to leverage on your shoulder for a bit. Um, so, so eventually you do open it up, but um, have a chance and, and uh, Habari might get another turn in there. Um, but inside okay, is so. another gold coins. Um, you can see this one is wearing spectacles. Um, you uh, you assume them to be non-magical, but they do appear to be in working condition. Uh, hang, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What about what about the one that I just opened? Uh, the one you just opened. Um, you find yes. again two gold coins. Um, however, as you uh, look up and down, you can't seem to find anything of value. Um, this one appears to right. be something relatively poor. I take the gold coins and I sidle on over to the uh, next <laughs> unsullied uh, one. Hang on, how much time is left? In, how much time yeah. is left on the ticket? Um, there's about thirty seconds. All right. All right. I'm gonna take the the gold out of this and leave the spectacles. They don't cool. seem interesting. Cool. And I'll run out and go press this timer again. Oh yeah. So um, so yeah, you'd run back and do that. Um, Habari, you guys both open yours up. You find two more gold coins. Um, but nothing of interest. So that's both of us. For the sake of time, yeah. Should we just like? Um, yeah. You, for the sake of time, just go ahead and you guys. For each one, you find two gold coins, um, but nothing else besides the the one belt you got. Okay, so I get the. I I will go for the rest of the ones in here, and I'll take two gold coins, yeah. and uh, I will give one of the gold coins to Libel and uh, another one to uh, Matthias later. Because he's been standing guard. Aylwin's just been sort of standing there. I'm, I'm, I'm not giving him any. <laughs> so, Aylwin, you see, if you see somebody start distributing gold, but he kind of ignores you. <laughs> cool with that? I think that's a yes. Well, uh, eventually, <laughs> you guys, this area is completely looted. Um, I assume you guys will walk back into the center and kind of just chill for a bit with your gold. No right. star, though. <clears throat> I say, nope. gentlemen, I think that we need to go to the east and check uh, for more graves. Possibly we'll find a star in there. I think that is smart. Uh, someone should go get Matthias. I'm still standing guard. Hi, cousin. We're heading the Hang other on. way. I pull out my horn. Pull out my horn. I have one of those. Cool. And I alert him and pretty much anything else that may possibly be in this crypt. God damn it, man, be quiet. <laughs> I hold my ears and say, I'm going to oh, go I'm dead. sorry, am, am I going to wake the dead? Wait, shit, I might wake the dead. You wake the dead. You, you see Lival kind of shudder a little bit and say, yeah, we don't want that. Matthi I, Matthias shouts back, I haven't seen her or anything. It's, uh, to put it, Terribly, it's as still as the grave down here. I make, I, I do my best with the maracas to simulate a rim shot. Uh, Great. Bards. 
you know, I, I've seen people play boards poorly and well, and this is not well. <laughs> what? Nobody plays a bard okay. well. They're what always jerk. played poorly. All right. I could, I'm in a. I'm in a. Just 13th. kill the bard. No, I'm in a thirteenth age game, and my bard is a biographer, and he, right. he doesn't play musical instruments at all. Mm -hmm. I, I like the, I like the ones that are game where a uh, bard was just an actor, and that was nice. No. But uh, no, I'm mostly just an adventurer. And also, I have musical instruments. Uh, do we no, know? Push him. Do that... we know? The, uh, the can we get through to the east side if uh, without triggering that trap? Um, uh, do you know how it works? Somebody asked him, does. I uh, I tell everybody to uh, I tell everybody to back up a bit, and I'm going to uh, go up here. Cool. And start making a dash for the uh, entrance. Uh, when you get to about oh, there, gonna... you get to there. Okay. The trap springs, and guess who is right on top of? Oh, I told them to oh. back up. Tink. Um, is, is the timer still not going? Uh, did somebody set the timer up? Well, no, I, was, I guess not this timer. This, no, this this unless why unless be interrupted. Unless Libel did it. I was gonna say that, but I mean, you, you guys are talking about bards and oh, biographers. I've seen this thing. Uh, I've seen this thing go twice already. Give me a dexterity uh, saving throw, and I'll um, I'll allow you to have seen them run and shove it in, given if you think that'll help. It might make things worse. Oh, also help with the dice. I'm relatively uh -huh. sure this Um, so you see them going in. You begin trying to put it in, but it fumbles out of your hand, and um, assuming that you're trying to put it in. Me. I'm oh, I'm, the is gonna oh. Crush. I'm sorry. Uh, go for it then, uh, Libel. Wait, what? You said you wanted to put the thing in. You were gonna make a dexterity saving throw. Oh well, I don't think that's gonna do much, but I guess I'll try and no, push if, it in. If you don't want it to, might. you have to. It might make things worse. I'm Pressing buttons has made things worse. That's, that that's not what I'm thinking. Not that's not what Libel's. Worse. That's not what Libel's I'm, thinking of, though. He kind of sees a trap go, and he, Matthias is right under it, and he's probably going to help him get out, because so he could, helped him earlier. Cool, so you could try to grab him and rip him out of the way? Yeah. Cool. Uh, so give me a dexterity I, saving throw. Yeah. Won't this be acrobatics? As soon as Matthias I mean, I'll, 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 I'll allow it to be acrobatics if you, if you have it. I mean, if you're not trained in acrobatics, I guess it doesn't really make a difference, but... No, but if you have it, you can add it. I'll allow it. Um, so, uh, yeah, Lival, you can give me a roll, 1d20, um, plus your dexterity, see if you get above a 10. If you do, you'll add some, a bonus to uh, Mathis. Oh, man. Just barely. Um, you, you see it happen, you grab his cloak and you pull at him. You see this massive thing drop and it smacks him in the head. Um, unfortunately, he wasn't able to get out of the way in time. He was 3 damage. Happenstance, they swing towards you. Um, I'm dashing. You're dashing? Okay, cool. Um, yes, uh, uh, advantage, dexterity throw, saving throw. Okay, because I was about to say, I knew this was going to happen. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Uh, dex and... I, love how I, just gonna, I am going to use acrobatics here. Yeah. Because uh, I am trained in it. Cool. <clears throat> and even if I wasn't, I have a bardic uh, jack of all trades. Yeah. So. Yeah. Roll, just roll already. <laughs> yeah, you don't need I'm, to be trained I'm, in I'm just roll. You don't need, but if, you, if you're, he would get a plus one. He's saying. Um, all right, good enough. Fall. Made it. Whoop! You, you do, do a barrel roll, get on the other side, land on your back, That's pipes, and the air roll? just kind of blasts out. I'm gonna yeah. yell at you, you deaf gnome. Let me put in the star first. Oof. Book. They begin rising again. I think I was very clear when I told you all to back up. <laughs> you kind of just said back up and then started dashing. I cool. think I was very clear when I told you all to back up. Whatever, just don't dash on ahead like that again. Uh, I don't go further than the next starfish thing. Cool. I say happenstance. You might want to wait before going in there and disarm this trap. Uh, this I'm one, sorry, I felt, I felt spiteful. This is one more of those uh, little things. Um, yeah, you step. Yeah, this is another one. That's one star. I'm gonna push in the one star. Cool. You push it in. 
Um, yep, if you just leave that, the ticking should go on by itself. <sighs> okay. Do we really want to go through all the looting? Yeah, let's, uh, no, let's yeah. speed this up and assume no. that we leave the no. star in and the, uh, exactly. the star so, um, guy are distributed equally. Sounds good. So, all together, you find what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, that's what? 22 pieces of gold? 22. There are five of us. Um, uh, let's just do four each and then one to the two that we're searching. <laughs> okay. So, I'm searching and Herbari's searching. So, yeah. we so each you guys get, get five. Yeah. Okay. And everybody else gets four. Were there any other in items of interest? Um, no, you saw. <sighs> hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna push in the I star one more time. Oh. Uh, but unless you're taking I the star out, you can just leave it in there. It's oh, not, you can just leave yeah, it. Yeah, it's there. not like a button. When, when, once you oh, place okay, it in, okay. you start to hear things start flicking around. They go, like, oh, gizmos whirring. Oh. Yeah, I probably I shouldn't have that I call to the rest of the party and I say, well, we might as well see what's uh, down this way. Perhaps it only requires one star. I agree. Have you a rope, anyone? Uh, several of us have rope. Well, should we check the stairs or should we check the cliff? Uh, you can I see another... we should always check the easier to uh, explore area first. Uh, probably an expedient path of action. Two stars. Mm -hmm. so you can see from there. See two stars. Yeah. I say, oh, that's not worth it. We shouldn't go there. We don't Damn have two it, guys, stars. There's two stars in this one too. However, the room looks much less deadly. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> well, uh, let's make a long jump. I'm gonna look around and try to make a proficiency check to see if I spot anything or cool. a search uh, checks. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, search checks different. Search would be feeling around. You want to do a perception? I rolled a one, so I failed miserably. I see nothing. Yeah, you look around, you can't really, besides the, you know, You are floors. literally blind. I think Lyval is now stupider from being uh, near me. It's Hibari, are you a halfling? Yeah. Oh, shit, I re-roll once, don't I? Oh, I re-roll once. Yeah. Oh, cool. Fourteen. Fourteen, I beautiful. Uh, as you, uh, yeah, yes, they do, the but only once. You have to get a racial trait where they re-roll all ones, but they have to keep the next result. Um, as you're looking Basically, around... Plus one yeah. As you're looking around, you notice these kind of things in the floor? Um, they look kind of like small holes, and they're kind of in a long line going this way. As you look up, you can see three kind of small, um, or rather, uh, a, a bunch of um, small holes that seem to um, correlate, or at least they're above them. So it seems uh, like yeah, something they, from above is going to slam down. Are uh, they but, close enough together that we can sneak through the holes, or...? Um, they are 20 feet in the air, and <clears> they're, um, they're, they're very, very small. They're like uh, like an inch diameter. I mean, like how close together are they? How close together? They are? Um, they are in a about five, every like uh, ten inches or five ten inches. There would be another one. So you can't really squeeze between them. No, uh, no. Even the um, Lival and uh, Habari would have difficulty. I see some sort of a trap here. It looks like there's holes in the ceiling and the floor. Well, uh, this might I mean, not be their half. Right way to go. They're, they're halflings. They might be able to get around, uh, you know, low obstacles, but when it comes to width, I'd say a human might have a better chance. <laughs> what a jerk. Actually, speak to that. that. Uh, <laughs> I think I am, that. I'm actually getting really tired. I can barely keep my eyes open. Oh. Uh, I, yeah, these these yeah, games are so like... I had, I, had, I had fun. Oh. When I, you know, getting, when I could actually voice chat and stuff. <laughs> so, we have to sign off, guys. No problem. Thanks for playing with you. All right. Hey, uh, have, have a good time, and uh, thanks for letting me into the game. Good night. Probably. Thanks for playing. Good night. Bye. Rage quitters, am I right? Oh, man. <laughs> you hear <sighs> the seething tone of his voice. It was ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Let's anyway. continue forth. Uh, we what, you, like... you see these holes, and at the bottom it doesn't seem to be holes, but something to, um, to catch whatever comes out on the other side. It seems to be like a These small kind of half spikes. circle. Exactly. This is totally I, a spike. I, uh, I, I think he was totally in the call when you guys were just bitching about him. I know. That was supposed to be it. We were joking. No, <laughs> he, he he had actually, uh, what's it called? Uh, Kung up at that point. Though so it wouldn't have mattered uh, that doesn't, like. That doesn't matter. Let's just continue with our game. Uh, I, I head on over to the rest of the group, except uh, Matthias, who now is no longer canon. 
Um, <laughs> uh, he, he leaves with his gold. I, he what? what he jerk. leaves with he his leaves gold. With gold. Okay. Uh, I say suddenly the rope idea is seeming a bit more palatable. Yeah, I agree with you. I know one of us said that a while ago. Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was me. All right, we're taking the center passage. My cousin's gone. I'm lonely now. Somebody shut off this trap. Oh, well, you want to go down uh, the center? Rival has the uh, has the star at the moment. You want to go down the center where that big uh, robotic warrior looks like? Yep. That sounds like the best idea I have ever heard. Your funeral. I'll put in the start thing. Cool. Just leave uh, it there. Cool. It's 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 ticking away. Is I'm guessing those uh, log things are up, right? Um. Yeah, they're completely up at this point. Well, right. just to be sure that we, we know what we're doing, let's go test it out really quick and see while it's ticking if it's going to activate. Cool. Uh, go I ahead. guess I'll do it this time. I'm going to run this way and then quickly make a right turn and run like towards the uh, this cool. way. Uh, you quickly jump back yeah. there and kind of look back over the um, back to your friends and nothing seems to happen. I'd Excellent. say we figured it out. Only took you about 20 damage. <laughs> Well, uh, one of them already left, so we're good. As you approach, Somebody you kind of look over. Uh, I hand over... How how long is that? 50 feet? 30 how feet. Long is the super drop? And the one oh, in front of yep. it, is it also 30 feet? Uh, they appear to all be 30 feet, yes. Alright, I go ahead and hand to Bari all 50 feet of my rope. Uh, I just I say, oh. no, no, you hold this end, I'm going to tie myself off. Lower me down, man. Maybe we could put, like, uh, some sort of thing to tie the rope around. Is there any, like, loose ho holds in the wall that we can see? Unfortunately, no. Mm. Well, it looks uh, like someone's just gonna have to stay up here and hold it. Of course I didn't take Featherfall. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking use the trap, too. That's... Use the trap? For what? Tie the rope to the trap. It's called being that clever. only work for a few moments. Eventually, the trap would get far enough away. No, even before the yeah, ten minutes, the trap would get yeah. far enough away that it would no longer, uh, the rope would no longer reach as far as we need it to. It's only 50 feet think, of rope. I don't think that the rope, the, the, the trap the traveled is, 20 the, feet away. The roof is 20 feet high, and then the below you is 30 feet. So that's, that's all of the measurements so far. Well, not only is that all of the rope, but the uh, traps retract to, like, here, to in, so. in distance away. So that's, like, another 15 feet. So that's, uh, that's 65 feet away from the bottom. I'd say someone hold it, but I'm not very confident in our strength. Can we tie off the rope to uh, this thing? Uh, that is rounded, but I will accept it. Um, yeah. Really? It, well, it doesn't see. It seems to curve in uh, yeah, towards it, the wall. Yeah, it curves in enough that you can do it. If you guys make a good loop, you can do it. Well, let's tie it off and climb down. Cool. Uh, you guys do that. Um, the rope out. Who has the key? Uh, uh, it is. It is. I left it in this thing over cool. here. Cool. It is still on there then. You guys continue to hear the ticking beneath you. Right, you and guys can go. I down don't mean there. south. I mean underneath your feet. All right, I climbed on the rope. It's an easy check. You wouldn't even have to roll. I'm a ranger. Of course not. Yeah. Uh, you I look say... around, and besides the couple of stairs, you see it turns, um, and you see these this large uh, mechanical kind of... Um, looks like wreckage field, really. Um, as you look around, Whoa. you can just see these things are all, all destroyed and messed up. You see these mechanical spiders just torn apart. These, uh, these kind of little spinning tops... Um, all of them kind of, uh, you know, with broken item, broken uh, blades, just kind of standing, standing there still. Um, Wait, is this a chain that I can climb down? Um, the chain goes to the roof. If you were to jump and catch onto it, then you'd be able to go down to the ground. But you can see most of these guys are not actually touching the floor, except for this one. As in, they're hovering? On a as in, yeah. they're, they're, they're hovering barely above the floor, as if they're being supported by the thing above them. Go ahead I'm to just gonna say that's app. a that's totally a trap that's gonna turn on that robot. 
Most of them seem destroyed, fight including that. including the robot. Like 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 like, like their their, like like their like arms are moving. There are sadness. swords. There are swords jammed into them. Um, you can see you actually see some of the gears still trying to whir, but it's kind of just going like click 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 because it can't go forward. Hmm. But it does appear to I be have more oh. on, as far as you can tell, because you do see, see these things whirring. Uh, I knock uh, out the crossbow bolt, and I'm going to shoot it at uh, one of the spiders. Okay, cool. Um, you can give me a roll if you want, but um, the end result would be that it would ping off, um, or kind of get lodged in. Uh, the thing would shake, it would go poof. But besides that, you kind of wait a moment, nothing seems to happen. <clears throat> I don't suppose the bolt is enough to make one of these stones press down. Ah, uh, your backpacks might be. <laughs> uh, no, I'm good. I look up, is anyone coming? I kind of... Uh, I head over to where the star is, I'll wait for them to get down, pull out the star, and follow behind. Cool. Oh, that might be a bad idea. We're going to want this star. Do you want to uh, try and climb down the rope before that trap hits you? I'll have 60 seconds after I pull the star out. I think. Oh I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. So, go ahead and go down. I move out of the way to create more space for everybody. Great. I pull out the star cool. and happenstance tap, pulls out. Tap, tap. Can we see how many stars are on that middle thing there? Um, yeah, you got uh, it. Well, from Habari's position, you can you can see there's seven. <laughs> um, how hey, are you? What you, does the thing it's attached to look like? It, it appears to be some sort of. Um, it kind of looks like a chest. Um, however, it appears already to have been open and empty. Mm. Who thinks that's where the power stone it was? Uh, I I don't. <laughs> Yeah, because there's no power stone there. I said was. Yep. Someone might have taken it already. I hope not. Well, I guess we should continue. Yep. Yep. Just uh, can as we I see thought. all the way down this hall? Um. Yes, that's the end of the hall. Oh, which hall are you talking about? Uh, is our this one over here? Over here, that leads over. You can see the end of it. Can you not? Yeah. Is, is our real... internal compass like good? Is our internal compass good enough to remember that's where the stairs led to? Yeah, of course. All right. So I'd say we just traveled around and we bypassed the trap. I had a feeling that might be the case. Well, let's Bypass venture on. The trap then. lost some loot. Oh, yep. West or south, boys. Back. Uh, West is gonna go. We, we know West is back to the trap that we've already seen. Alright, uh, I slowly go down the stairs. Cool. Uh, you see the following, including a three star um, thing right there. Beyond it, you can see a small hallway. With my knowledge of traps, I wouldn't happen to know any way I could, like, push in it and make it think that there's an amulet or a star thing jammed in it um you look at you look at what happens when you actually you never actually put one in and not put another in um but you can see all the little holes on yours and all the holes on the other one and you assume that they correlate and that um without knowing which uh pins are supposed to not be um because pins would shoot out that's the clicking you're hearing the word um without knowing what pins are supposed to be stopped and which ones aren't um it would cause issues Okay, so I'll, I'll discard that idea. Uh, shall we go down again, or west? Uh, we should have one more uh, rope, but there's nothing to tie it to here. Well, so... I don't think... If we go down, there's nothing but traps, I think. So we should go west. Yeah, I step quietly to the west. Cool. Slowly. Uh, the you look over to the west, and you see... Boom. Oh, more traps. Uh, I, I get closely up to the trap, I glance at it and see if it's a one or a two star. Four star. 
Damn it, man, it's a four star trap. We're missing something, guys. I'm assuming we could have done some searching and found the more other stars, but. Oh, sweet, that four star down. trap. I love that a bridge series. You know, just, just kind of <clears throat> for my own amusement, I'll walk up to this and, you know, try to put in the star and then just, like, keep pulling it out and then putting it in all the others. Uh, you put in the star and every time you do, you see a bunch of pins fling out and then um, they kind of retract just as fast. Mm -hmm. um, but, it needs to stay in there. But nothing seems to happen. Alright, I'll come they back. They must all need to get in there at once, even if they don't need right. to stay. I'm gonna look south past this corner, just like peek my head in without you, you moving peek in onto and that And you see what appears to be another uh, stare down. <sighs> I say we just risk the uh, pain, look for where the trap is, and try to avoid it. Can I see the ceiling? Uh, you can see the ceiling. Uh, you see there is a track there, uh, similar to the other ones. A track, huh? Yeah, track. I'm gonna take a quick, like, little, put my foot on this little stone here and push it down and see if something happens. Um, you, when you push it down, you can definitely feel that it gets pushed down, but that's true about the one you're standing on, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> you don't suppose I could be so light I won't, and spread my weight, I won't push down anything? No, I don't suppose not. This was built by gnomes for gnomes, so... Yeah. If you were a huh. fairy, I'd be like, eh, that's a good call. But you could also fly, then. Yeah. They haven't put pixies into 5e yet. Thank sure goodness. They're gonna. Yeah. Wasn't a fan of those pixies. Yeah, we're kind of. Uh, that's really kind of powerful right there. <laughs> Flight. You know. With that, when you shoot, when they shoot their arrows, they grow giant or to normal size. Stuff like that. Got the uh, just, just got the magic artillery pixies and just whenever you're outside, just have them uh, be flying way, uh, way away from the melee reach. Yeah, or fly up. I turn to the turn to the party and see and say, does anyone want to uh, try their luck? <sighs> yeah, it doesn't look like anybody's volunteering. I suppose I'll give it a shot. I Wait, feel like the other side is just going to be the same. Who's got the most experience, right? Or not experience, hit points right now. Let's just let's, 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 let's meta game a bit. Eighteen? Who said that? Hibari. Hey, the ranger. Wait, why do you do something with the bathroom quick? Okay, I feel like Hibari. And what's your uh, dex? Uh, plus three. Yeah, you're definitely the most uh, the most apt to give this a shot. I've got cure wounds, so. Really. That's nice. I, f I have a feeling we're not going to see many enemies anyway. Yeah. Anyway, when uh, when the DM gets back, I suggest you give this a go. Like, I would say just run right through and try to get to the stairs, but I feel like there's going to be a door work. that shuts you in. No, I'd, I'm, I'm saying that won't work. Because even when I knew exactly where the trap was earlier, uh, all I got was advantage on it, and I was running through. So yeah, well, that's I mean, not going to give us much bonus at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm meta gaming. I'm meta gaming. I wonder so what, hard I just right wonder now. what this trap will be because he he made sure to mention the track like the tracks. Do you think it's like going to dump things on us? Well, it's like tracks. So something will come by. Something's gonna try to uh, probably slam into us. Might be the same things as the other one, might not. You said we could see the pulley system before. No, we couldn't see the pulley system. We could hear the pulley cool. system. He said we, we could, could see, see the tracks. He, he, he allowed him to try and use shocking grasp on it. I yeah, sure. to uh, go up into the pulley system. We didn't see it, we just knew it was there. Oh, okay. Alright. I've returned. Uh, fast. Well, so who's got a plan? Uh, All right, I'm gonna just make a break for the uh, the stairway down there. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, what kind of wish you luck. Um, so, um, I guess we can just dash and go double the speed. I mean, I'm just, unless you're trying to do something crazy, we just walk in. Nope, I'm running. just running. Cool. Um, uh, so once I'm waiting all tracks on the ceiling. If you're you doing what? Avoiding the, tra the time. tracks, sir. 
Tracks are covering everything. Uh, everything. They go in a grid. They don't cross like this, but they do cross like that. All right, so go, I'm gonna make a break for it. Go ahead. Uh, go, do, just do your movement as normal. I would assume you're at double speed left. I said do yes. your movement as normal as in do this. No, not teleporting. Tap yeah, along? Like, yeah, because yeah, the, the other way teleporting, I don't know where you trapped, stepped, maybe you stepped on a trigger, maybe you didn't. There. Okay, um, so once you get to here, that's when a port colors in front of you drops. God damn it! Oh, I, that's what I told You're you, that's right. what's gonna happen. You're I told you! Chink, chink. Right. <clears throat> uh, Live will give me a dexterity saving throw. Me? Uh, -huh. uh Live. No, me. 17. Oh, uh, shit. beautiful. Um, with a great roll, you feel that, that portcullis dropping under the over top of you, you jump back, though. Or I knew want, this was a bad idea. If you want, you can jump forward. <laughs> I'm good. Thanks okay, for cool. asking. Is um, Habari so, uh, Habari does not, because it's, because it, um, um, that'd be, um, that'd be um, a nice change of base. H H H Habari, please roll initiative. Oh. Oh, no. Wait, this port, okay. Uh, you can shoot through it, it if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, I don't see anything, but so I'm yeah, not exactly. gonna do anything just yet. Um, okay, so can see through the portcullis, which means I can fire at the very through least. It. Yeah, I can. I can use my hand crossbow. I can use my spells. You can uh, motivate him. I, I lean down and mutter a small prayer. Leroy Jenkins. Okay. Terrible. Um. Cool. Um. So you go first. Um. You don't see anything. What do you do? Uh, I think it says aloud, but I thought I rolled initiative. <laughs> oh, um, get you want in? I would say everyone wants in. I yell in, is everything okay? Is there any trap? I say no, we got some sort of a problem. Uh, I grab the... Port oh, uh, the wait, wait, for, wait for everyone to roll initiative first. Okay. Oh, I thought you said not to yet. Well, yeah, I, 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 I was, I was <laughs> going to, but then you guys were like, hey, I want to roll initiative. I'm like, okay, sure. Have a stats one to anyone. Hey, I'm range. Okay. Yeah, I know. I There's understand. initiative being rolled. I want it. <laughs> okay, uh, Elwin. Cool. Somebody's got some background noise. Yeah, people talking. I apologize for nothing. Um, Weifel, you see nothing. What do you do? I, I don't. I don't think there's going to be any enemies, so I'm just going to look in and just look around. Happenstance. There's totally invisible enemies, by the way. Okay. Um. Hey, you could pass the time with some music. Take out your bagpipes. <laughs> Please. Well, I have my bagpipes out. I, I, I okay. do. Or if I didn't, I pull them out. But I'm. Uh, I'm just waiting. Cool. Uh, in fact, as soon as. As, you know what? I got my bagpipes under one arm. Uh, those were already out, but I did not have out my hand crossbow. I'm gonna pull out my hand crossbow, and I'm going to just sort of, uh, sort of aim it through a hole in the portcullis and ready in action to hit anything that looks like it might be about to attack Hibari. Cool. I look at Happenstance and say, "Are you gonna shoot him? What are you doing?" Uh, Elwin, what do you want to do? I say we don't know what might drop in there. If it's alive, we might need this. Elwin, do you want to do anything? Elwin. Um, you look in the room, you can't seem to see anything. Uh, Perception is 13. Um, you noticed uh, little holes in the along the floor. Uh, they seem oh, to... Oh, we forgot about that. Uh, they, they appear to be much more numerous than the ones that um, the other one found earlier. Oh god. Uh, Hibari, what do you want to do with? I'm gonna have a skewered friend over here. Um, I'm gonna step uh, south with my back against the portcullis, pull up both my wedding weapons, uh, and ready in action for the first thing that steps within five feet of me to attack. Cool. Uh, if, if you can? You, just, you got a slice at it? Is that it? Yes. Cool. Um, then as you um, take those weapons, uh, you see directly in front of you 
and you strike at these uh, this massive, uh, basically th nine large spikes that shoot up into the air. Um, they go about about a, about a meter up into the air, or probably they go up to the roof actually, um, and they just shoot out. And you kind of, you kind of strike them with blades with your, with your blades. Okay, uh, yeah, visual, to shoot something living, not not. Yeah, know, of course, of course. But this thing moved. Well, then, if I sent at you a ticker toy, would um, you'd be like, oh, it's not living, right? You said the first thing that moved, and th these things were the first thing that moved. Uh, lively one. Whereas think? I said something that looked like it was about to attack Hibari. Yeah, which yeah, technically yeah, but... this one was. Uh, lively one. Do you think? <laughs> okay. Well, I, since I see. Habari and happenstance get so alert. I feel like I didn't see something, so I'll go ahead and join the club and take out my short bow. Cool. Happenstance? Is that going to take a whole action? Uh, it, no. But what do you want to do though? If you didn't, I'll, I'll knock an arrow and get ready to shoot at something that seems threatening. Okay. I no longer feel like there's going to be any uh, any enemies that we can hit in here. I'm going to. Uh, Make a perception check. See if I can see something he didn't. There's gotta be a way out of here. Probably. Maybe. I also said there's gonna be spike traps, by the way, so I'm two for two. Uh, the 13? Gonna be like uh, some... Yeah, at, at the end of my turn, I say, guys, try and raise the portcullis. I'll dive under it and get out of here. Uh, who, who are you gonna roll? Um, because there's 13. Half a sense okay, well, I mean, yeah. Perception would be an entire action, so don't want to do that. Uh, I will well, attempt to raise nothing. the portcullis. Okay, uh, you can try to give me a strength check. Uh, can I give you an athletics check? No. <laughs> uh, okay. th there's no sport called raising the bars. Uh, I I excuse me, I believe that's way There's no normish, gnomish sport called raising the bars. Alright. And especially not vertical bars, anyway. Oh, are you want to bolt lightning something? <laughs> Please do the bars while this guy's trying to lift them up. I want to see that. Seven. Um, yeah, you you start trying to lift, and your hands are just too um sweaty. And as you try to lift, it's just slipping off. You you can't muster the strength to to get this thing open. Uh, so I can't even have somebody help me because I keep slipping. I, 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 I already used my I, I already used my turn. Well, so I if mean, I would have had the turn, comes and around. Uh, I could have given you a help action, and you'd have advantage. Yeah, I suppose. I feel like since the portcullis is large, we could combine our efforts a little more. Uh, yeah, and I can totally do that Actually, next both turn. using strength. So yeah, when that comes around, I'm just gonna place I, you close to the I bars. also yell out to uh, Hibari that I that it looks like the spikes came up where he was. He may wish to keep moving. Uh, Habari, your turn. I, I have a keen sense of the obvious, man. <laughs> uh, well, I, I'm gonna you're move above a lot of people I know. Diagonally. Cool. And uh, then I'm gonna up, hold my action until them. whoever lifts up the portcullis. So I'm gonna lift up on my side as well. Cool. Uh, all of them have spikes uh, come up. Tink, you hear back? See you back there. Um, level. Okay, that's lucky. Well. Uh, then I guess I'll get here and be ready to help Happenstance lift it, so I'm using my action to give him help, so he has cool. advantage. Why don't you combine your yeah. lift your side I and really then have I feel help like it. it'd be better if you actually uh, lifted it. Yeah. Would it work it. like that? Yeah, yeah it's it's like like with help from Elwin, considering, how, it considering how big it is, um, Lival and Happen I'm just going to make your turns on the same initiative, and then you can, at the same time, try to lift it up. Yeah, this is okay, literally then. something that could happen in real life, so I no. figure yeah. it well, would make look more at that. sense. Like, I nice. rolled a crit, so... With a minus one. You can't crit a <laughs> But it's still a crit. Check. You can't crit a check. You know, can't okay. crit a check. No, you can't. No. You cannot. Oh, I'm thinking of attack scores. Yes. So cool. I, I thought it was like, if Edge. you crit, it always works. Oh, no, if you crit, it always hits. Cool. Never mind, sorry. Yeah. But, but, if you put our scores together... Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm doing. No, they're amazing. Your scores, they're they're incredible. But remember, this is a portcullis meant to stay down. So you guys start raising up, and you feel you do feel it go up, and you feel like it's a lot, and you look down and you see it's about an inch off the ground. 
I, I, I feel like we're not gonna get him much higher. Wait, how much um, did you roll a two? Yeah, he rolled a two, so it was a twenty-one total. Oh. Uh, uh, I, I got with a four. Oh, uh, but you, yeah, I guess you were ready. And I'm gonna make your turn the same as theirs. Yeah, I'm on the other side. I'm pulling. I've got space for my hands. Okay. Um, we'll be sixteen. Oh, I don't like this. Okay. Um, so Elwin then. Elwin. <laughs> This is where What's teleportation that? would help. He can't. He doesn't have. Uh, or he can't use the mic. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just waiting for him to type. I didn't see it pop, prop up. You know, it says like he is typing. Mm. Okay. So if we can't get this up, it does look like it's following where you're moving. So I feel like it's like a puzzle. So you're gonna have to use as many spaces and try to last it out. If it doesn't. Oh it yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. That's right. Um. So at this point, um, guess where you are right now as compared to your last turn. Um, chink! Uh, these massive spikes jump out of the ground and they stab into Habari. Um, Habari, they're going to attack you, but because you might have armor, uh, 1d20 plus 6. Uh, does 14 hit your AC? Uh, it ties. It ties, then it hits your AC. Oh. Oh, whew. But luckily you managed to jump out of the way just enough for it to, uh, to scratch your flesh. Uh, Lival. Uh, oh, uh, you have, done attacking. You have can to move I out. even be in that space anymore? He, he cannot, it's too high. He had to move out of the way. Can I move through those spikes? Um, through those spikes? No, they're too high and too close together. You're gonna have to wait until we can actually get this thing open before you come, uh, yeah. close to it again. So just, like, keep moving each turn. And I guess we're going to try to lift this again. Cool. Remember, only the first thing you stand on in the turn turn uh, gets spiked up. So you can move across many spaces and only no, the ones not, it, you're on. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Just don't get your tra yourself trapped in the corner. We're on the same turn, we're trying to lift this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's slightly better than before. Uh, slightly better. Um, you can feel it go up another inch. You're about two inches now. Oh, so we're also oh, so holding it. You're, 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 help here. You're, you're able to actually hold it, and you're making progress. Which is good things. Cool. Okay. Um, happenstance did that thing. Habari, you're up. I say, Elwin, use your use your action to help them out so they get advantage. <laughs> like he doesn't have much room. <laughs> uh, they're ha they're halflings. He has plenty of room. Oh, nice. Nice. Elwin, help, please. I, I just step away. I'm cool. not a halfling. <laughs> oh, I'm still yeah, there. Oh, they're, they're, they're midgets. Is that better? Does that make you feel nice inside? It's better than halfling. <laughs> <laughs> not, really. not good. It's better than halfling. Okay. Um. At least you're not calling me fat. Give me a give me a uh, diplomacy or uh, persuasion check. I will allow that. <laughs> allow what? Oh, uh, oh. Elwin, to do a persuasion he, check and try to he's, take, help us. Use your knees, guys. If put your legs. Ooh, huh? that's a good roll. Nice, nineteen plus one. Um, yeah, I'll give you, I'll give uh, happenstance and lifeful advantage on next check. Um, I can sneak well, attack on these. Uh... You're right. Chink that does sound better. Yeah, <laughs> it's use your knees, huh? Knees. Cool. Um, so it's our turn. Yeah, it's live and half steps turn. Nice. <laughs> Do I get a bonus for doubles? Beautiful. Oh um, no. Okay. Um. So with that roll, uh, you can feel it, you you feel like uh, the retractor on the thing starting to activate because it feels like it's getting lighter. So I start pulling that up and probably get about five more inches. So probably about seven inches total. He might be able to squeeze in now, but. Eight. Okay, it'll be eight, whatever. Um, point is, if he keeps cut squeeze in now, but um, if you guys lose your grip, um, it might fall and decapitate him. <laughs> well, I suggest we just keep going, because it seems like we have plenty of time. Yeah, Haburi. Haburi? Hibari? Is that... <laughs> I'm Hibari. just saying, you missed, like, two vowels there. <laughs> I just took the south. Cool. Um, and Elwin? 
chink. Perhaps you can help us to not lift with our backs? <laughs> you can try again. Another Something rousing, like uh... If he gets low, it's gonna be like, it sounds sarcastic and, and naggy at this point. We'll get just... Fitness advice? <sighs> Yeah, you might say like you know, step under it, and then you guys get decapitated yourselves. <laughs> uh, yeah. Where do you want to go? Stinky, stinky. Uh, wait, wait. Oh God, I just realized his name is I'll win. Alan. <laughs> I'll win. Well, if you, can, if you can't think of anything, win. just come help us. Help us live. Yeah, if, if you can add to your, add to your strength, add to their strength. Yeah, yeah so, does the, so does the castle's rival. <laughs> but they're both halflings, so you can get am, in between. Am I seriously the strongest person here? I'm a gnome. <laughs> I'm a this is why you need manly damn people. No. Cool. Uh, so right, you go in, you start, that. you start adding in your strength, and your, when your hands are very sticky and kind of a little bit slippery, and it's difficult to get them up. Um, right, so he's on our turn. Oh yeah, he'd be on your turn as well. So everyone has the same turn now. Yay, Look at that. 20. Okay. No. Um, so Habari, um, did you go anywhere? Those are you, you moved, that's right. Yeah, um, of course, I have to get out of the friggin' way. So um, <laughs> at... This point, I'm going to need dexterity saving throws from Livel, Happenstance, and Aylwin. Okay. Oh, you evil, evil person. You very, very. Oh, I'm a, I'm a halfling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you rolled one twice. I was like, yes. <laughs> cool. Um, you two there. Cool. Um, the thing begins to raise up. And as it does, you all just throw your hands away before they get crushed by the thing. Um, the, all the spikes seem to go back in, and the um, the battle music seems to stop. Oh, I did not realize that was in the. Uh, in the <laughs> Some, in, somebody was playing uh, it for some reason. Did not realize the music you know, was canon. It's canon, baby. I'll be honest. That went ten times better than I thought it would. It went ten times longer than I thought it would. Uh, uh, Hibari, Hibari takes one more step. Uh, you guys can you guys can hear a ticking going on right now. Tick, 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 oh god! Tick, 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 tick. I say everybody oh, run let's... through, run through, let's go. Erwin, Erwin. <laughs> cool. Lil, know. did you guys know there was another trap back here? <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. Uh, All right, ah, so I'm okay. guessing there's another four stars here. Um, yeah, there's another four stars on that one. Well, um, I, I guess since Habari went last time, I'll go this time. Which one are we I, talking let's about? Let's ignore that. Huh? Oh, you're talking about, I thought you were talking about this one right here. Is that it? Yeah, 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 yeah. that one. There's another oh, four that star one. Just, that, that's for this room again, huh? I, can, <clears> I, can, I, can, I cannot confirm or deny that. Yeah, yeah, I know. But, I say but we no. just avoid the sarcophagus. Completely. Avoid the sarcophagus? <laughs> those are the only things that we've made money on so far, man! That's, that's your reward. You're not getting paid inside those sarcophagi. <laughs> if you want to go in there and lift... Well, I mean, I lifted one once without the ticking and nothing happened. Do, no, All right. no, it's well, true, he, he did do that, yeah. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna do a perception and see... Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna see if I can see any more holes in there, you know? <laughs> Uh, you cannot see any holes, but you do notice you're still stepping on pressure plates. Oh, well, right. when have we not been? Exactly. I'm gonna die. Gonna die. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna assume you guys die. start. You guys start opening them up. You, do you take any precaution yep. as you open them up? Uh, did they look any different from the first ones you opened? Not at all. Uh, actually, they do look different in that they um they look better taken care of. No, oh, we're getting to the more royal section. I bet. Uh, apparently, I do not. No, 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 no strength checks. You guys, with, with the fact that you guys aren't doing this in a rush, means you can do it relatively All easy. Right. Um, the only reason cool. I did at the beginning was he was trying to rush open it up with a minus one strength check. 
I assume yeah. you guys take your time. You know, you, you get open. Um, eventually, you do find what two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, uh, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, uh, twenty-two gold pieces. Um, do you want to search the dead bodies at all? Maybe yeah. really dig in there deep. Mm. Sure, I got gloves on. Maybe I, I should do it because I can. I mean, are they skeletons? Ah, uh, some are skeletons. Most of them are skeletal, but some still have flesh on. They're they're quite old, but some of them were preserved well enough that they um that they have I mean, decayed. Are we well. talking like desiccated uh, bodies, or like is there going to be like liquid in there? Oh um no, they're they're relatively fine. It's 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 either uh, bones or flesh. Yeah, so know. it's like it's all dry. It's, yeah, it's, it's dry. bones and it's bones and jerky. You want to dissect them? Interesting. And you were complaining about us uh, desecrating the dead earlier. You saying don't breathe? I'm on gonna, them. I'm gonna reach no, my hand in. That. You know what? I'm gonna reach my hand, reach my hand, and start feeling around, and quickly just pull it out before I even like comprehend what's going on. Like I'm feeling what I'm feeling. Okay. Um... And I roll side of hand, roll side of hand to pull my hands out fast. Then uh, no. Go ahead, no, and go ahead. anything happen? Well, you have to give me. Oh, is that Maybe fourteen? Could, uh... um, what happens is everyone kind of looks back at you and kind of just raises an eyebrow and shakes their head. Just nothing happens. Wait, and it looks really weird. The skeleton did? No, no. Everyone except you. Everyone around oh. you. Your three living allies. They're kind of just shaking their heads. Then. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm looking, looking at him and thinking, "Huh, I wonder if I could use like ventriloquism as a focus." <laughs> And I look back at one of the desiccated bodies. It's, it's too big. I say, well, I think that's all we're going to find here. Perhaps if I was a dragonborn. Terrifying. Anyone else think that we should move on? Yeah, I mean, yeah. All right. Cool. So 22 gold. Uh, I guess the two people who didn't get the... Uh, didn't get six gold last time, get six gold, and the uh, people who did get five. I'm gonna look down this hallway to the east and cool. see if I see anything. Um, you see one of those little things again, and as you look forward, you see a kind of a wall and a descent, as mm -hmm. well as another smaller staircase. Alright. Start Let's walking go. forward, peek around this corner. Cool. Uh, you peek around that corner, and it seems to go up and to the right. If you remember where we were before, you might be, have a clue as to where it leads. Mm. Uh, you look on ahead, and you can see a one of these things right here. Uh, difficult to see how many stars, though. All right, then I'll stand here. Cool. You stand there. Um, you can't see any stars because it appears to be broken and ripped off. Uh, it's it's basically just hanging there. Um, Wonderful. Yeah. Mm. Do you want to go check north again, or do you think that just leads back? I believe it leads to the uh, looted treasure chest, which we have no use for. Hmm. Well then. That's my guess. Regardless, either way seems to work. So I'll peek, peek around. Just, you, know. you see this. Seems to be an empty room. This is room. hella trapped. This is do I see so any trapped. holes in the ground? <laughs> I see any holes in the ground? Um, not particularly. <laughs> then what's on the ceiling? You can see uh, tracks. Tracks again. Oh boy. Uh, you said the the star thing was broken off. Yeah. Right? If you lift it up, you can see there were six on it. I, I put a hand on uh, Lival's shoulder, and I just tell him I'll take this one. I say, yeah, yeah, go ahead. And, uh, I'll let you do that. Cool. All right, back I off. Take, I take a deep breath and start stepping forward. Beautiful. One, two, three, four. Uh, you see, it, I see some small stairs. You have to, you have to step down them. I, uh, gonna, I wave everybody to uh, follow me. I'm going to take his exact stepping. Cool. Two, three, four. And what can <laughs> we see jumps about? over. <sighs> this is a mighty leap. We don't have teleport yet. <laughs> And if we did, we'd be what using a lot of your spells. What about that star uh, yeah. receptacle? 
Um, it appears to have six. It's not broken, but it is. Um, it is there. My God, are we really supposed to have found like a bunch of stars by now? No. Uh, okay. Because <laughs> um, those could, are just um, honestly, those there are was, just frustrating to yeah, see. Yeah, there was one that you could have um, got you know, the guy with the green, at the glowing green uh, mushrooms. He was going to sell you one. Um, <sighs> and uh, and yeah. You, you know, we oh. didn't even like consciously decide not to go see him i think we just all forgot about him collectively well, the, per the person who the guard said he said no no let's just it can wait because mm. we yeah. didn't know about it he just yeah. kind of was looking for mushrooms so i'm gonna look down here and see if i can see anything cool uh you look, look down and comments. you can see the following loop oh wonderful it's about 30 feet down it's how many 30 seven seven feet seven. So, I'm sorry, 30 feet down and a seven star tri uh, trigger. Oh. Oh, this seven. This looks seven horribly stars, unsafe. Uh, you can see a large wall in front of you. Uh, and, of course, it splits off right there and there. Let's see over past it. Mm. I'm going to take out five candles out of my backpack and set them on a pressure plate and see if it does anything. You drop them down there? No, no, like next to me on the pressure oh. plates near me. No, nothing seems to happen. What about my crowbar? Um, nothing seems to happen. My sack of a thousand ball bearings. Nothing seems to happen. <laughs> and just, of course, just, my backpack. You just placing them all around you? Is that it? No, no, on, on the same pressure plate. No, on the same plate? Yeah, nothing seems to happen. And my backpack? Nothing seems to happen. Okay, well then, isn't this glorious? <laughs> I guess it's been, I haven't taken any risks, should I go down? Um, that would not be in your character. It your your rival, the right. coward. He was titled the coward, he did not want yeah, to be I'm called the coward. <laughs> well, you know what, if you go down there, I will be all for you getting to remove the coward from there. And replacing it with, like, maybe the see, kind the thing, of brave. <laughs> you don't know exactly what happened, alright? So, I shouldn't even have Fair this enough. title. Right, I'm gonna take out my 50 feet of rope and tie cool. it to this. Cool, awesome. Okay. I'm, I'm enjoying that. Alright, and then I'll toss it down. Cool, you do so. Uh, I'm going to use prestidigitation, and I am going to make some of that rope taste like strawberries. Nobody will know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is it will be the rope on the bottom, so that if any rats are somehow magically drawn to it, they will chew the uh, the end that won't send him uh, to his death. Hundred percent noted. Okay. Well then, uh, I guess I'll start climbing down. You climb down. Uh, you get down. You can feel those pressure plates. Same as before. These ones. Some... These ones feel a little rustier. Seems like no people rarely step on them. Is my weight on it already? Oh yeah, your weight's on. <sighs> okay, I'm taking deep breaths, cool. and I'm gonna, you know, let go, and I'm gonna walk north one or five feet. Cool. You're fine. And then north northeast five feet. Yeah. Um, you appear to be fine. Let me turn on the ambient music. That guy was not. <sighs> look forward, okay. and you see a very large room. But in addition, oh, you I'm see no something idea. in the distance. Oh <laughs> my god, it's the Orb of Power. I I'm gonna... What's it called? I'm going to lower myself down the rope. Cool. I'm going to, uh, out of character, remind myself that I am neutral good. And <laughs> I'm not going to do anything terrible. Uh, you uh, can ask, uh, Lival would say back that um, not only is it there, assuming Lival's a cool guy, that not only can he yeah, see it, yeah. but however it is inside of a cage at the moment. Oh. Mm. And okay, I'm just going to stand stars? at the bottom of the rope, and uh, I'll, I'll like chew on the end of it a little bit as I contemplate. Okay. Um, <sighs> now, what you didn't realize is while going down it, Lival kind of really crotched it up. So um, as you're chewing on the end, you're like, oh, that's right, Lival doesn't bathe. Oh, I'm going to press the digitation and instantaneously clean it. Cool. It is now clean. Okay. The t are you cleaning the rope or your mouth? The, the, uh, yeah, yes. No, n yes. 
Yes, that is. Those are both things I can and do do. Excellent. Noted. Um, Elwin and Habari, uh, seven. Um, you know there are seven. You heard before that there are seven Septarchs, so most likely yeah, to require no. all of them. Yeah, that's what I thought. And we're gonna have to break I, I can, it. Can I lean in and like see the rest of the room? Um, yeah, you can lean in, and you would see the fallen. I'll just reveal a whole dying thing. Ooh. Dude, What's this that? is not cool. I don't like this. <laughs> the music doesn't help. Oh my god. Yeah, because this is the same music where I had another horrible experience. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Please don't bring her back, or him back. Anyway. You are in the land of the dead. I understand this. So... Oh. I turn, and I, I, I don't know. I have a kind of scared look on my face. Like, what do we do? After getting a bit of strawberry-flavored goodness uh, <laughs> into uh, my head, I'm feeling cheerful. I'm feeling I'm feeling some gnomish cheeriness. Because uh, that's really how gnomes are supposed to be all the time, you know? Except maybe Smurf, Smurf, Smurf Nebulon. Yeah, Smurf sure. Uh, so... Yeah, no, I know there's Smurf Neblin. Oh, Smurf it Neblins? Was, it was You're... accidental the first time, but you know what? <laughs> you monster. You deserve a fate uh, worse I'm than death. I'm going to uh, tiptoe up. Cool. To where Live is. And, uh... You guys can occupy the same space. You're pretty small. Yeah, okay. Hey there. I'm going to... Just sort of motion that I'm going to try to cross the room to see what's uh, in the hallway behind it. Right. I definitely seem to be more scared, and I start stu stuttering, saying, Sh shouldn't Aelwyn go? He hasn't done anything yet. <laughs> ah, come on. We don't <laughs> need to share all the adventure. Now, I kind of back away into the corner and say, go for it. All right. I sort of put on a uh, forced grin, sort of grit in my teeth. I'm excited, I'm scared, and I'm walking. <laughs> this makes some adventure happen. Cool. The, uh, the sound of the rusty, um, rusty springs under your feet kind of squeak as you move. I'm going to take <sighs> out my bagpipes. Cool. <laughs> now, they're squeaking... And as I walk, I'm going to figure percussion. out exactly what, no, I'm figuring out exactly what note that squeaking is uh, making, and I'm going to do my best to harmonize. Performance check. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get a performance check here. Alrighty. Had you not been using a bagpipe, this music would have been really, really sweet. That you are making with your, you are making with this squeaky little um thing under your feet. But instead, it's just mm -hmm. just the worst. You know, I I actually I actually like bagpipes. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I like bagpipes too. In in certain areas, I just I like making fun of them more. I'm gonna take out my 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 flute fife and try to you know join in to lighten up the mood. And do you have a flute? Just... Do you have a flute? Yes, I do have a flute. Then I went you... to a musician school. I meant you and, have uh, it. Your rival has it. Yeah. Yes. 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 Excellent. Then yeah, go for it. And I roll a six on. So... <laughs> in fact, we're we're lightening up the mood so much. I demand you change the background to something cheerier. <laughs> Um, I will accept that. Where is my... There you go. It's, it's, yeah, like, it's, a, it's like it's a pub in here. It's great. Walking. <laughs> Dude, you're totally walking with the beat. <laughs> uh, you see this. It appears to be another 30 feet... Um. 30 feet thing going up. Alright, what's that star receptacle looking like? Seven. Mm. Well, fair enough. 
Jesus. A little more. My confidence is boosted a little bit. I don't realize how <laughs> bad I'm playing because the bagpipes are too loud, but I'm going to walk in too. Cool. <laughs> See, that's the, half the chance's situ- ability. He can, uh, he can take the most dire situation. He can lift everybody's hearts. Because that's, like that's what bards do, actually. <laughs> Eowyn, how are you getting down? Are you just do. jumping? <laughs> Eowyn, are you just jumping down? or? Okay, the rope's there. The other one's already. Uh, so. I'm, I'm jealous. My marching band did not use bagpipes. Well, I, we're not going to gain any progress until we start walking there towards that orb. Perfect. All right. I'm going to take one step this way. I will inform Nothing. you when something awful happens. I will say stop all movement, and then um, you stop all movement uh, while okay. you're back here, because um, you, right. your perception is high enough to know that as you step, it sounds different. Hmm. Huh. And my performance was high you know, enough that I know to uh, play a different note to harmonize with it. Wait, no, no, it no, it no. was, yeah. Well, the 20 it was. As Safari oh, runs I'm over. Gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll again, just to make sure we don't see anything. Cool. Uh, yeah, uh, that's with a 17, you just right over the top of this thing. Uh, you see several things in the tracks above them. They seem like little, um, little hook shots. Oh, cool. What I okay, okay. Tell you, uh, tell you what I'm gonna do. I am going to take my take my masterwork bagpipes, and I'm going to uh, place them right here. Cool. I'm gonna see if that lowers the uh, thing if they're heavy enough. Uh, it's, yeah, it certainly would, hundred percent. Okay, oh. so I'm going to go ahead and place my bagpipes here. Okay, cool. Uh, just go ahead and mark it. Wait. Where you, where you put your bagpipes? bagpipes. Alright. And does anything happen? Not to your knowledge. I pick my bagpipes back up. Cool. Uh, can I throw a rock on there to make something happen and smash the bagpipes? Uh, you, could, master work. you could you could try yeah, to shoot the bagpipes. Uh, that might be able to puncture it and cause it to be destroyed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Try it. Try it. See what happens. <laughs> you missed, you loser. <laughs> you missed the bagpipes. Oh, bagpipes. she's just mock. I'm really sorry. Uh, my my crossbow has a hair trigger. I didn't mean to shoot at your bagpipes. <laughs> Uh, keep up the good work, Bard. Vicious mockery. I bet that's not the only shooter of yours that's got a hair uh. trigger. <laughs> oh, I said, I'm, I'm cruising for a piece of ass, Bard. I have an out of character <laughs> you question. What's up, Bard? Yeah, what's your so, j- just to be just to be sure, you know, I put more than six pounds of weight on this one over here, and it didn't go down. Bagpipes. No, I, I said it. Um, I said it did go down, but nothing happened. Oh, I, I yeah. I must have misheard you then. Yeah, no problem. That's my bad. Yeah, uh, as far as that takes about five pounds. That, that usually does it. Okay. No, that that so, that was a vicious mockery though. Cool. Um, you shot my bagpipes. You want to deal damage to them? <laughs> um, technically, technically, I didn't shoot them. You tried. You have to do a wisdom like, saving throw. It was uh, a mistake. Uh, I can roll a bluff check if you'd like. Nah, nah, if, if he doesn't... Just because you can say it honestly doesn't mean that he'll believe you. Does anyone well, no, object? that's what the bluff is for. The bluff is to make me believe. Exactly. No, the bluff is to be like, hey, I didn't do it. But, but you just because it doesn't look like you're lying doesn't mean that I believe that you're... Trust you me, I it. learned that the hard way. Yeah, Dan- <laughs> Daniel went through that. I don't believe in that yeah, whole... Wisdom, wisdom saving throw. It. You had your chance to maybe fuck me over. Here's my chance to maybe fuck you over. Okay, uh, Wisdom, wisdom Saving Throw. Habari, uh, well, Wisdom Saving Throw take damage. Well, they're arguing over there. I'm gonna toss my crowbar. Like, right here. Well, actually, no, right on the one below it, here. Cool. Uh, you throw it, you hear a tink. That's about it. No, I'd just, like thing... just like to remind everybody, Vicious Mockery is a cantrip, and will do, at <laughs> most, four damage. Uh, Herbari, can you, can you give me a roll, buddy? Just 1d20. <laughs> what, what do you want me to roll? Just 1d20. I want you to roll Wisdom, but you're... 
Cool. Um, Basically, yeah. It's plus one. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> you shrug off my insults like they ain't no thing. So this pressure plate did not go well, down. It, it went down. I mean, it did go it, down. It, it went, went down. down. Nothing seems to happen though. All right. I'll take one step this way. Cool. Hmm. I will tell. Yeah, I will inform you when something happens. I know. I just I'm being as careful as possible here. What else do I have here that I might be able to use as weight? Hmm. How heavy is a lantern? Uh, Two pounds. Anyway, not my 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 bagpipes. I picked them back up. So where do you want to weigh something down? Oh, sorry. I just minimized. Um, right here. Right there. All right. Yeah. Um, I just sort of underhand tossed my bagpipes right onto there. Cool. That is a horrible idea, but okay. You you throw them. Other mass work, so they can take a beating. Okay. Um, you throw them there. Um, here, click. But okay. Well. Um... Now pick up his bagpipes and bagpipes play keep away. <laughs> I'll pick him up and then try and like toss him back to him to cool. let him catch. Easy. Yeah, I get. I grab right. my backpipes. I'll move here and pick up my crowbar. Done. Uh, you're now close oh. enough to see this blue glowing orb. Inspect it. I'm gonna inspect the cage and see if there's any keyholes or any sort of mechanism to open it. Uh, you can see surrounding it, there are... Se uh, give me, you can give me an investigation check. But um, on a close glance, you can see surrounding it are um, seven um, spaces. For stars. For stars, yeah. Do you guys think I should just put in one and see what happens? I think our best bet is should take off your gloves and touch the orb. Ah, <laughs> uh, you couldn't touch the orb. The, the cage is too tight. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna impulsive. I'm gonna go ahead and stick one of those star things into a slot. Cool. Ah, uh, you stick it in. Uh, you see a bunch of other things, kind of other springs, kind of pins, kind of spring out, and you, after about a second, they spring back in. Okay. I'm wondering what the ones on the side do then, because it seems like there's no traps here, but I'm sure we're horribly wrong. Oh yeah, I mean this is the assumably end of the uh, crypt. I'd probably call it the center. Does anyone else have any ideas? I mean, besides trying to bust it? <laughs> With what? I mean, I have a hammer, but it's just going to improvise as a light hammer. Yeah, well, I mean, we've got time. we got nothing but time. You want to bust it? I feel like that's going to cause some problems. I feel like it's going to cause problems, too, but I Can really do not see any... Uh, any way for us to get this orb out without causing problems. Can I drop something through the cage? Um, sure. Depending on how big? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out one of my 1,000 ball bearings and just kind of try to drop it and let it plink off the orb. Uh, it does so. You see it just plinks right off. The orb glows for a moment, but nothing seems to happen. Try no ten. disintegration. <laughs> try, try like 10 in a row. If it, it glowed a tiny bit, maybe it'll glow a bunch. If a bunch hit it. And then it explodes and kills me? Um, maybe. I, again, I'm, impul I'm a little impulsive right now. I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to drop ten in a row. Cool. You just take a sack of coins, just dump it in. Uh, it glows. Ball bearings. Bearings. Ball bearings. Uh, it keeps, it keeps, plink it keeps uh, glowing every time it clinks. But um, besides that, nothing seems to happen. Besides that, you have ball uh, bearings now stuck on the inside. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I call to the orb. Hey, orb, you in there? You hear no response from the orb. You hear it's no response from the not, orb. It's probably not sentient. I'm gonna probably. try to convince it to come out. I'm gonna, you know what? Uh, Give me a persuasion uh, check, sure. Let's see what happens. That's what, I, that's what I, I was looking at my persuasion. I got distracted. Say, uh, you're trapped in here. Who wants to be in a prison? I believe in everyone should be a free spirit. <laughs> cool. Uh, it, it doesn't do anything. 
Yeah, but what is power but a prison for the mind? It's it's power. It's like you can use it to get stuff. Yeah. Puckers but it well. restricts your freedom. With power comes responsibility. Eh, you might feel like a monarch or something like that. Just yeah, pure, well, like being a child. Monarchs generally comes like death. Touche salesman. Hey orb, I got some nice, you know, power orb candy out here. I love how you're trying to convince it to come out. <laughs> it's pretty, it's deception this time. Oh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> it is not coming out. I'm kind of chuckle uh, a little bit. Okay, I got it. Press the digitation. The orb tastes <laughs> like strawberry. <laughs> if you guys right. could taste the orb, it would probably taste like strawberries. <laughs> All right, we need to figure this out. Like, <laughs> yeah, okay. There's okay. really, I don't see any other option other than trying to smash it open, but then, can we tell what the, the cage is made of? Uh, it appears to be made out of a very fine and hard iron. Looks kind of rusty. Not really. Okay. Uh, can, is it, like, attached to the ground? Um, it is attached to a, uh, altar that is on. Um, you What's can the try altar made of? The altar appears to also be made of metal. God damn it. Hmm. I wouldn't be able to see how heavy this orb could possibly be. Uh, Five well, seconds you... from casting sleep on myself. <laughs> you don't know what it's made out of. So if it was made of feathers, then it would be, it would be really light. If it was made of like crystal, it might be heavy. Mm, well, my thinking. Well, it's probably it, it made like... out of crystal. <laughs> uh, does it look like the cage is attached to the altar, like nailed in or anything, like welded? Um, it looks it looks like it's uh, it's in there somehow. So I'm like not able to pick up probably. No. Okay, you can try you can uh, try grabbing it and moving it if you want. I'm good. You can I'm try good. convincing the uh, cage to uh, okay. divorce the altar. I think we're past the funny part. We need to figure this out. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was less of a serious thing and more of me making fun of us. Yeah. Uh, okay. did, I, I, hmm. I don't want to. Can I? F okay, I would like to uh, take time to, uh, and I want to absolutely take my time on this to basically try to take twenty if I can. Yeah, and right. just investigate the entire area for just everything. You, investigate you point to me where you're, what part you're investigating. I'll say like a bot broad spectrum, like you this whole wall or that whole wall or this whole area. Or like the altar. Or, okay, you know, I'm gonna look. I'm first. I'm gonna try to look over everything that has to do with this orb and altar, like just basically everything in these four squares from the floor to the ceiling. Now you're not sure how Lival missed it, but you can clearly see an emergency release um, underneath, <laughs> underneath part of a section of the altar. Um, okay, there's no, there's a rather large that. warning sign. I have to um, ask, before we go any further, did you design this with an emergency release, or are you just fed up I, with us not being able I to... I designed... That, uh, you were told at the very beginning there is an emergency release for the orb, however, that will probably start a trap. I forgot. Yeah, I realized I that. I now. No, yeah, I, I told my, you guys. My, perce my perception check when I came in did not see it. Um, no, you didn't see that because of the... You have to search to, uh, to find it. It's, it's uh, in a hidden nook. Okay, well, I'm gonna say, oh, well, that wasn't there a second ago. <laughs> wow. It's probably a trap. Obviously. It's absolutely like the person. a trap. Um, it was designed to be a trap. I, I wasn't listening to Pink 2, by the way, so... Yeah. I'm aware, especially uh, at this point. I think here. I don't think there's much I can do. Now... You said on the ceiling it looked like there were hook shots. Yes, of some you, sort? You, you see a lot of them. They seem to be that distributed around. Uh, they don't appear they're to have that. Yeah, they're on the ceiling. Sorry, mm -hmm. could you explain what the emergency like releasing was? It a button or a, like a switch? It's or it's what? a it's a it's switch. Like what, a you, lever. It's kind of similar to a lever. It's one that's where you grab with your whole hand and pull pull down. <laughs> Does anyone have more rope? <laughs> No. 
I do uh, not believe so. Um, you don't know, maybe string would work. I have string. <laughs> You guys, oh, you guys do have rope right here. You need to get out. <laughs> I already uh, saw. That. How much? I I know I have string. How much do I have? Thought I had string. Diplomat's case. Good. I'm desperate oh. at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I have ten feet of string. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Plan. Okay. I've got some perfume in my diplomats pack. Uh, yeah, I just sort of spritz it at Lival. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm gonna uh, lively enough smell like citrus. Oh, this perfume <laughs> is better than I thought. I'm yeah, it's afraid it's good. to be flowery. Uh, yeah. Tie the string around the the lever. Okay. Cool. I say, all right. I'm gonna try something. Might be a little crazy. Step back, happenstance. How long is this string? Ten feet. Ten feet. Yes. This, no, this isn't worth it because we gotta grab the orb. Yeah, but we're gonna see if the hook shots come down or something. Try to impale Fair us. enough. All right. You, the hook shots are just around these four, right? You said. Um. It, there's there's hook shots in these areas as well as there's a bunch on the outskirts. But like none in the center. Um, there's none directly over the orb. If that's what you're asking. Remember like, like the hook right, shots right, pointed. Uh, straight down. What as about if, where I'm as standing? As if to grab you. Um, there's none over there. Over you now. And this, how about now? Um, also none. They're most in. They're most in the upstairs. Like it could possibly be a good idea. All right, uh, everybody, I, back out. Stand under or, a spot uh, that doesn't have a hook. Somewhere that looks safe. You said it, doggy. <laughs> you is puppy. everyone safe? How does it look? Uh, no, Hibari is not safe, and uh... I kind of follow along. You know, I'm, I'm being safe. <laughs> uh, by Wait, safe, they mean a hook shot. Cool. Okay, so oh, cool. I'm gonna try and pull on the string and try to get the lever to go cool. down. Uh, you see a level go lever go down, and then you see a little uh, button start blinking. <laughs> <laughs> the button's blinking. Yeah. You, you see it says, are you sure? <sighs> really? I'm going to mm -hmm. take out my arrow and shoot an arrow right at the button. Give me a roll. Alrighty. Let's see how many this arrows you can break. Target. Ooh, that's that's really <laughs> good. Um, yep, it hits. Mm -hmm. I think. And uh, you begin hearing um, warning sounds go all, go on around all around you. I'm gonna start, you know, like breathing heavily as if I was, you know, getting really nervous, <laughs> and then I'm just gonna wait here. Cool, cool. Um, is that where are you? There you go. Wait, no, that's a bad thing. Um, cool. cool. All right. Yeah. You know, uh, at this point, um, uh, Habari, you are incredibly sad to see Elwyn just drop as this massive <gasps> hole appears underneath her. I, I, I heard his name sounds kind of like a girl's name. I apologize for doing that. No, um, you give him a dex uh, roll. No, no saving yeah. throw. It's too fast. Not even, not nope. even to help him pull him up. Nope, it was it was too immediate. You could just ah, uh, and oh, about man, a, dude. um, one second later, you see um the hook shot shoot down, and you hear um Tim come back up. He's on top of this whirling machine with, <gasps> with knife oh, blades. My. Uh, currently, he he's he's holding he on. To, he's he's fine, <laughs> but he's holding. He's basically standing on top of this thing, holding on to the chain, screaming. <laughs> yeah. And it's moving around. Uh, essentially, it's 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 has all these blades on. It's just swirling around and trying to trying to swing around. The blades only reach like five feet around, so only one tile, right? Yeah. It's going like that. All right. Well. Uh, roll for initiative. I'm going. Where'd I go? Oh, there I am. Oh. 
Cool. Uh, let's do a few level. Okay. Do I see which way the, the spinning wheels of death are going? Um, they appear to have just come out, so it, you can't really tell. Okay, they all, no, they all seem I... to have taken the same position, which is in right here. Can I ready an action to jump out of the way if it comes near? Um, yeah, you can, you can just, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just delay your turn, and when something comes near, you can take your turn. Okay. Are the chains still attached to them? The chains yes. are attached to them, yes. They're, they're reaching down these... Possibly jump onto the chain, and then you'd be safe. These things How like, high is it? These things are like four feet high. Oh. <laughs> and, and they have whirling blades defending them. Well, that was what the jumping was for, but, uh, yeah. Someone could take a long jump. Uh, happenstance, you're up. Alright, I'm going to, uh, move some sort here of inspiration? to where I can sort of see. I do not. Uh, out of my five level one spells, well, it's Bane, Cure Wounds, Dissonant Whispers, Sleep, and Identify. Uh, one's a heal, one's pure out of combat utility, and the other three are simply uh, are all debuffs. Can you so make now, these spinning blades go to sleep? I really doubt it. <laughs> Especially <laughs> considering they're not really, you know, they're, even they're if they were like they have construct rules. They're, they're just you... <laughs> uh, they're just being moved by the chain hook shots anyway. Can you insult them and do damage? They don't take psychic damage. <laughs> That's what I thought. <sighs> well then, do what you want. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, stay here and uh, I, I will. I'm not going to ready it, but I'm going to be ready to cure wounds if necessary. Sounds good. That's a touch spell. Is this a touch spell? God yes. damn it! Yes. It is. <laughs> I say you leap. But the other one was the touch spell. No, it's kind of tough to. Yeah, hold those as a reaction. Well, I, I said I wasn't using it as a reaction. But yeah, you're right. So uh, if you take damage, you get healed. Yeah, you either ready in action or you jump out of initiative. Well, yeah, I was saying I was just going to... Uh, yeah, no, I was leaving initiative. Sorry, quick you, question. You, have the hook shots we saw on, like, around, have they fired down? Some of them have, not all of them, though. You see most okay. of them still haven't fired. Oh, this is going to be horrible. Uh, Habari, you're up. You can see there's a 10 foot gap between you and the other side. Alright, I jump the gap. I Whoa. read a rule. No, 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 you have to make a... You have to make a str uh, str uh, athletics check. A 10 foot yeah. jump? That's yep, my 10 strength. foot jump. Um, that's your strength score? Yeah. Okay, um, well, that means that you have to... You would definitely uh, fail. You have to roll I'm You have to roll a 20 uh, or higher to get past from a standing jump to the other side. It's ten yeah, feet. Yeah, at least per... ten. Long jump is at least ten feet. Yeah. And Can I a... go here and then just kind of step around the wall? Uh, give me an acrobatics check, and I'll allow that to be your action. And remember that right there is a swirling dervish. I just want to remind you. I, I really think uh, we don't want to be getting in there. I think we want to be getting them out. I Somehow. well, I. If... Well, I'm getting that out. You saw how that went when you guys tried to get me out. If my strength yeah, was got, an eight, wow. if my uh, strength was an eight, I could get out. I'm gonna shoot at the swirling dervish. God cool. damn it! Um, it plinks right off. Uh, you can see these the swirling uh, swirling skirmishes incredibly armored. Uh, Elwin, I don't think we're fighting here. We're just escaping. Elwin. You're currently on top of this thing. It doesn't appear to be able to uh, strike at you. And for the totally. record, I want the orb. <laughs> you totally thought about the whole rope thing, because if you I would have done it? that, it would have fell down. Nice magic missile. Um, so um, you just, uh, you just you send one bolt straight down, and you just hear it uh, burst. You hear ringing on the inside, and parts flying everywhere. Um, you have oh. two You have two other blasts you can still use if you'd like. Your two other ones can go. Oh, not the one you're on? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so you're yeah. shooting at, at, the, at yeah. the three key. Shoot the lock on the orb! Uh, so this one's first, then? Cool. 
Uh, that that one you you begin to hear a ringing sound as it does that and starts swinging back and forth. The orb isn't still. Is the orb still in the cage, or yep. is the cage open? It's still in the cage. Huh. Okay. Um. So uh, then you attack the second one. Uh, if you use both your blast slot, you do manage to take it down. Again, you you do hear the ringing, but then you hear the ringing kind of malfunction, and uh, and it just kind of stops. Just Good swings where it is. Deal with the ones all the way across the room. Yeah. Uh, now the swirling skirmishes. <clears throat> uh, this one can feel uh, liable and is going to start going towards him. And is it about to come towards me? Uh, oh, yeah, it's uh, absolutely about to come towards you, and you can use your action to move. All right, I'm going to move north one space. Cool. Um. Okay. Wait, is it gonna follow me? It's it's going to spin in a circle and attack everything around it. I I ask if it only could reach in one thing. Oh yeah, yeah, it can only reach five feet in every direction. But if it's in the center, then it's only five feet around in that. Uh, how how it how still it's, hit nine friggin' squares? Yeah, it's gonna hit really? nine squares. That means it's it, it, being dumb. I I think it's just being forgetful. Okay, no, you're right. You're right. Never mind. Ah, uh, you can keep moving. All right. You you have your full movement action. Uh, then I'll take. So I was one, two, three, four. Do they have attack of opportunity? They do not, and you cannot get any okay. from them. Okay, that was four, five, cunning action to sprint more. Yeah. Six, seven, eight, um, nine. Wait, wait, wait. Note that you can use your cunning action to dash, but you can't use it to get even more run. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. So you can, at max, yeah, you can I'm move done. as double your speed. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Cool. So it's a good um, thing just... they can't... It's a good thing they can't attack of opportunity, because in 5e, it's been changed to whenever you, uh, leave something's reach. Yeah. Um, so this thing gets to there, it kind of tries to follow you for a second, and it continues to spin. Its blades just shoot out and, uh, get longer as they spin around. Um, and this one, like... Cage. Um, it's... I suppose it's, it's hitting the cage a little bit, but you don't see it actually doing any damage. Okay. Uh, this one right here, you see it um, go to here, it goes over here, and you see it is basically <sighs> is completely floating over because of the chain attached to the roof. It gets to right there. He has cure runes already, so even if he takes damage, he gets to heal himself. Touche, salesman. Uh, is going to try to attack you as it spins okay. around. That hits. Cool. That hell um, hits. Yeah. Um, looks like it will do... Oh, one six. Cool. Six points of damage. Okay, hey, ow. Wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That hurts. Level. Are you gonna heal or are you gonna save it? Uh, it depends. Um, I think Happenstance had a turn saved up. He, no. he ready... Oh, no. No, I didn't. Did I moved and then I took no action. Actions. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Lyle's Fair now enough. the nine because he used his turn to wait till that. So um, you're, you're yeah, remember you used okay, your, okay, your yeah. turn to wait. That makes so, sense. Um, Sorry. Sorry. Happenstance, you wanna go? You wanna do anything? All right. Let's see. Unfortunately, all of my spells do psychic damage. Uh, this thing is four feet tall, which is about as tall as I am. It's floating. Well, yeah, it's four feet in the air. So. What Can the chains there? go down further? Does it look like? Um, they yeah, must be I able mean, to because they they shot down. If you remember? The 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 okay. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I was thinking maybe we could just like. Now these things them. are heavily armored from the sides, but the uh, magic missiles—they hit them from the top. I'm guessing. Um, no, they went right through the armor, and then they you hear it, it was, you heard it was, smashing. It was, uh, remember it was that force they, damage. Yeah, it was force damage. So um, it wasn't that it was force damage. Is that they went? They uh, magic missile goes through armor. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's, it's here an goes nothing. <laughs> you gonna mockery it? Was that? No. <laughs> that's also psychic damage. Yeah. I, I do know. have a magic rock though. Ooh. So. <laughs> now Wait. these blades. Go ahead. Dude, magic rock for sure. Long? They're Just... five feet long. Um. No, they appear to be. Uh, they appear to be about. Two feet. They're pretty short swords, but they're on a um, um, with the. They're on arms. 
They're kind of spinning arms that go, when he spins faster, the arms stretch out. Alright, the question is, is if the, the blades are all on one level. If I were to uh, basically try to get it from underneath or from above, would I be able to? Uh, um, would they, I be able to get the thing? Uh, some of them seem to be swinging low, point. as if trying to attack your feet or where you're standing. It's swinging low. Uh, some of them are swinging lo low. Others are swinging high. Oh, okay. So some, there's some, no way I'm going to be able to. Uh, some above your head. There's no way I'm going to be able to bash it with the rock without getting it then. Um, uh, uh, no, you, you can bash it with the rock and then run. That's okay. Well, it, can, that it case, only attacks um, on its turn. I'm, oh, that's right. I, I just sort of assumed that because they were, you know, swirling uh, things of death, that you couldn't stick your no, arm no. close. I just had uh, an right. idea. In that case, I'm going to attack. Uh, are you proficient with rocks? No, I'm not. Just making sure. I'm proficient with simple weapons. It's this is below simple, so yeah, it's not even a club. It's a rock. I'm sorry, you just get minus two, or I mean, you don't get plus yeah. two. I, I love that about five e's. There's no minuses, only pluses. Wait, I don't get plus. Just oh, yeah. roll a d twenty. Just roll a d twenty. Let's get <laughs> it over, it, man. Sorry. Either you get, a, you get a twenty, you get a one. Doesn't matter. Yeah, just so roll a d twenty. Okay, so it is a plus one rock, so it's D it's D20 plus one, 20. 12. Uh, you hit it against the side of the thing, it just plink. Doesn't seem to right. And I'm going to move. I'm going to move. Do it. Three, four, five. And I can't really do anything else. Okay. Cool. Um, El Wahibari, you're up. Moving out of threatening range doesn't generate OA? Um, not with these, these guys. These things can't OA. No, they're not, they, they can't take advantage of their yeah. opportunities because they're not smart enough. They're literally attacking where you're standing. Alright, uh, I'm going to throw two Tomahawks at the spinny thing uh, and cast uh, Hail of Thorns. Uh, um, on? No, this one. Uh, do you know how far Tomahawks can go? 60 feet. With disadvantage? We should go about 20 is feet it? with normal, and then is 60 it? feet with disadvantage. I'll, I'll look it up real quick. Go ahead. I have the thing open, so I'll just find it. No. Uh, but go oh, ahead and roll. Tamahawks, they're throwing axes, but I like to call them Tamahawks. Yeah, yeah, they're throwing yeah, axes. Yeah, hand axe. It is yeah. 60 with disadvantage, yeah. Yeah. So roll twice and take a lower result. Uh, you got 9, so that one's going to miss. And you got 24, but you have to re-roll. Uh, you got a 13. Seven. You got 7. I apologize, but uh, both of them, they fall into the hole. You hear grinders uh, below. going to take damage from uh, Hail of Thorns. Oh, cool. Um, that sounds good. Uh, how much damage do you take? Or what do you have to do to avoid it? A whopping 1. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you hear all the stuff inside of them start plinking around. But um, you hear the gears continue to work. Uh, Eolwyn, you're currently on top of one, it's spinning, it's, you're starting to get dizzy a little bit. How high up? Is it 40 feet? Or 4 feet, you said? He's about 4, he's about 4 feet up, yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, do you want to do that for your turn? Just laugh and hold on? Yo, shock and grasp. You want to shock and grasp it? Well, that sounds good. Oh, no? no you don't he, want to he, mean, he, he said yes to just holding on. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so you just hold on, and kind of as you're laughing, it spins over to point right there. Uh, you see one of the things go right there and shoot down as, uh... <laughs> poof! That happens. And uh, after about a second, you just hear this thing struggling to bring it up. And eventually you see this thing. Oh no! Just this massive mechanical warrior. Uh, it kind of swivels and turns to face you, and then it continues to swim to face Lival. <laughs> Hold on. 
I'm gonna look at it real quick. Does it have any open? Thing to be here. Does it have any open gears? It has a like tremendous, tremendous amount of open machinery. Can I see like the inner clockworks? Um, like all spinning yeah, around. Uh, easily. Is it open? Um, uh, not. It's not open, open, but a lot of it is exposed. It would be much easier than the protected spinning skirmishing. Spinning okay. skirmishes, skirmishes, whatever. I named them too complicated for myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, the dervishes is the only. Yes, there's only this one here. So, um, Erwin, this one's coming towards you. Two, three, four, five. Gets to there and it spins at you. Ah, son of a. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> um. Look at that. <laughs> ah, it already failed, so I'm gonna say you did, and that happened. Way to go, Erwin. <laughs> um. Meanwhile, one, two, three, four, five. Happenstance. Oh. Okay. Spins at you. Some damage. Is it a miss? Gotta be. Uh, uh, yes, armor. that is a miss. Sweet. Uh, so it spins. You kind of jump back, and it slices at your leather. Uh, meanwhile, this thing over here uh, moves in. Oof! To there, it gets off its space. Um, live all. You're up. I'm gonna do something pretty courageous here. I'm gonna uh, move here. Take out my sack of. 989 ball bearings and try to chuck it into the open clockworks. Gorgeous! I love the idea. Um, roll me a, an attack. Just, just with yeah, agility? Ju um, yeah, just, yeah, just give me a basic attack, no proficiency. Just see how well you do. With agility or just one d20? Uh, with agility, with your dexterity. <sighs> that's, that's not bad considering how poor this guy is. Um, so you throw it, you see a bunch of them clink in, and, um, roll me, roll me 3d6. Cool. Uh, you begin to hear, uh, a lot of, um, noises going on from within that thing. A little bit of smoke is rising out of them, and, uh, you see the one kind of gear on his shoulder is not going right. Okay. Uh, and now, wait, oh, it's not over, oh, it's not, go ahead, it's not go over. Ahead. Yep, that so was your I action. Moved one, and then two, three, four, five. Cunning action to sprint. Cool. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The heck is a cunning action? Wait, wait. Uh, rogues no. get it. It means they get Damn. to uh, either dash or uh, they get to do a lot of moves that take an action as a bonus action. Um, it, it, it allows them to yeah, allows them to get yeah, go into a battle, take give them a hit, and then get out of battle, so they don't have to be in the front lines, which I think is smart. I always thought it was so lame when they had to run into battle and just get hurt. Yep. Um, Habari, you see Lival. Just run, book it, over to where you are. <laughs> okay, so you're just going to skip my turn? So we Oh, I'm do? sorry. Did I, I skipped Happenstance. I apologize for nothing. <laughs> yeah. All right. I so apologize for being mortal, Happenstance. I, I no longer have anywhere to run here. I'm going to back up one space. Cool. And thinking about it, even if this thing is resistant to uh, is resistant to piercing damage, that's only half damage. I never said it was I'm resistant. Still... I just said it was armored. If you can get a well, yeah, I'm just saying, even no. if it happened to be, uh, I'd still get more uh, value out of my uh, turn. What's it called? Out of my crossbow than I would out of the rock. As cool as the rock is. You should probably cure wounds, in my opinion, and then attack uh, next turn. These things are only going to do six damage at the maximum. Unless so it crits. Unless it crits. Uh, I actually maybe go for it because you want to get the max out of your heal. I I, I, I feel I feel ballsy. Feel ball yeah. bearing -sy. <laughs> Sweet, we do. Oh, I am going to. Uh, in fact, you know what? Can I, can I take back my move? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm going to actually pull out my rapier. Nice. And I'm going to see if I can just stab it right in its mechanical guts. Sounds great. Give me a roll. You see kind of like a small vent you might be able to stab it into, but it's really thin. 
Um, yeah, as you go into thrust, you manage to just barely hit the side, and so you, it doesn't go doesn't go in. Yeah, uh, so armor. Uh, you so want to do any movements? Yeah. Um, actually, you know, the only reason I was going to move is uh, so I could crossbow safely, which I e they they can't even. So, you know, it doesn't matter. No, I'm I'm not even going to move. Cool. Enter. <laughs> Havari. Who are you, buddy? Hey, did you ping us to where we are? Yeah, that's where we are. God damn it! Ah, oh, there we go. Finally, it's up. I hit F5 and refresh back. Oh, so yeah, I imagine. I was, I was cleaning something off my keyboard. We are at the bottom right, if anyone <clears throat> south. All right. Um, I mean, he's up Do I know anything about this thing? Um, You can't even see that thing. Uh, I don't think from your position you wouldn't even be able to see it come up. You just, you just heard right. Elwin kind of go, uh-oh. As my movement, I'm going to try and step around that thing and get in there. Cool. Uh, that would be a whole action. It's you'd have it would be very difficult to do, and it require an acrobatics check. All right. Yeah, you managed to get. So um, you're right there now. Uh, it works. It takes up all my movement to get to that space. Because remember, you have yeah, to the, the maneuver you have to do is you know, you have to wrap your body around, kind of take a step, and you have to wrap around again. And I'm assuming you're being careful. Do you want to be I can Use my action to actually move. Uh, your whole action was... Oh yeah, you can use your move action, but that would definitely be your action. Ah, uh, you should have made an illusion happenstance. An illusion? Yeah, don't you have a... What's it no, called? No, I only have press right. the digitation. I, I use my, my action yeah. then to get up there, or my movement action, yeah. both the combination. Press the digitation can make a small or tiny illusion, so you can make like a rabbit or something. Um, so Aelwyn, what do you want to do? Oh, you want to slam it, that's right. Um, so you give me a... I don't think I could make anything that looks like it's alive with press digitation. Do you, do you guys think it you is a charisma? Would it be charisma to try to move to try to try to use objects a... that can fit in my hand? I'll, I'll let you use I whatever just... you want. If you want to use charisma, dexterity, or strength, you can use whichever one you want. Yeah, acrobatics will be applicable. But um, you're gonna have to get at least five for every five feet. So you're looking for, you're looking Sorry, for 15. Ignore DC. that. That's for happenstance. That's what it says. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Uh, okay. I can uh, make a non-magical. You swing it to about here, but um, you, you can't actually get the momentum going. So it swings forward and that kind of swings back. <laughs> um, the skirmish is going to swing back to its place, while all the while moving over to Havari. Uh, it's then going to spin vigorously, getting a twenty-one. Assuming Regardless of. Three damage. Press the digitation takes a full action, so it wouldn't have been worthwhile. Yeah. Well, actually, this thing's floating, so one, two, three, four, five. Actually, it goes only four. It gets to there, but it's <gasps> clearly going towards Lival. You see, you see, it's a massive blades being ready to be prepared. Um, while well, this one over here is going to spin for happenstance. Yeah. Five damage. Uh, live all uh, you're up. Now I'm feeling like I should use that gear right. loops. Well, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna move this way, I'm gonna take whatever's at the top of my backpack, which happens to be the crowbar, because I use that to trigger something earlier, and I picked just, it up. You're just grabbing randomly stuff? <laughs> and luckily I grab my crowbar, and I'm going to chuck that into its clockworks. Cool. Uh, give me another roll. Uh, you, you throw it, it kind of gra it kind of jumps into one of the shoulder gears, and you kind of see it start jimming, and it just fla fa falls out. Okay. Could you mark where it is? Um, sure. Um, it fell into this hole. Okay. Alright, so that was one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, action, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah. No, six, seven, eight, nine. You don't think I could swing around here? No, uh, that it, takes a whole it would be an action, there. and for you, yeah, considering you guys are hobbits or halflings, it, it is especially difficult. Okay, then I'm just gonna wait here. Cool. Uh, happenstance. Actually, screw it, okay. Habari. What? <laughs> <laughs> <Just> joking. <laughs> okay, so 
You know, for some reason, I thought Cure Wounds was more reliable than it actually is. It's not. Uh, it's it's, a, it's a all D8. I've got at this point, though, so I'm going to do it. Cool. It's a D8 plus your casting bonus. Yeah. So. I believe in you. I Me not so much. Hey, <laughs> hey, Lival, this is the perfect opportunity to make true to your name and get out of here. I can't jump ten feet. I have eight strength. Touche, sales. Okay. That brings me up above six. <laughs> Excellent. Hope these guys don't crit. <laughs> Havari. Hang on. Also moving here. Sure. I'm actually going to try to swing around next turn. Oh, that's good. Havari. <clears throat> Havari. <laughs> Havardi. I'm going to go up and attack this bug. Cool. Dude. Dude. Oh. Um, a 10 is going to miss, unfortunately. Um, Wait, basically... when I when I threw the ball bearings, I rolled a 10. Yeah, but um, those were ball that, That's because you threw a... That's because it was basically like using a... Um, what's it called? An a, AOE. A, a flaming burst, yeah. Only this okay. time it was mechanical parts on a mechanical thing. Which okay, made a lot of sense. sense. Um, so that's going to miss, but the second one absolutely hits for 6 damage. Uh, I just kind of jammed it in there. Um, you're, the, you hear the thing start skipping, and I hear gears grinding on gears. Um, yep, anything else we do? Nope, that's it. Cool. Uh, Halewin. Still, still swinging on that thing. Uh, lightning blast, nice. Each target. Cool. Um, so he's going to try to do make a DC. 20, 20. Actually, um, I don't think he can try to. Actually, it would be like an accident, essentially. Um, he barely succeeds. Oh. Unless you guys think he deserves a minus one because he's a robot. That's half damage. Actually, he's pretty large. Oh. Um, no, that, that's a lightning bolt. I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh yeah, that, that would definitely hit. Actually, considering he would get a minus one. He's so big. Uh, so yeah, three damage. Uh, you 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 begin to hear the some of the things start whirring a little too fast. Um, okay, these guys. Uh, this one right here. Oh, um, is going to go over to one two. Uh, this one's going to go over to happenstance, and this guy is going to try to slam down Habari. Um, so Habari coming at you first. I'm assuming that misses. Yep. Coming at live all the coward. And then coming at happy. Excuse me. Hey, it missed. Yay. <coughs> uh three damage you level. That is actually the first damage I've ever taken in one of your campaigns. Really? I apologize yep. for nothing. <laughs> well, say constellation think killing you isn't technically living nor ever been alive. So it's okay. like no person has ever gotten hit on you. That's still true. Oh, uh, okay. Level, you're up. Is it is it fair that I heard happenstance run up there, <laughs> like Phew. near to the trap door? Um, I suppose you could hear screams of of pain and fear. <laughs> and since I saw Habari swing over, I'm thinking happenstance might think the same thing. So I'm gonna run up here. I was one, two, three, four, five. Um, gonna, I, uh, as I said, you can't take uh reactions on these guys. What do you mean? Oh, um, Elwin was asking if I could take a re reaction, but these guys oh. can't take reactions no, no. against. They don't give I'm it, gonna, they don't take it. I'm gonna hold out my hand and help him out getting across, getting him advantage, or what do you want to do? Um, he, you know, if the DC's pretty low, but I'll allow it. No. Uh, I'll, I'll make it, if you want to make it your action, then that wouldn't even be an action for him. Uh, so I can pull him across. Essentially, yeah. Um, Heaven Sansu, you trust no. me. Happenstance, uh, you don't even need to make a I roll. I trust You're... you way more than that whirling blade death thing. Uh, Happenstance, at the beginning of your turn, you are here. Okay, cool. Um, do, do. I yeah, I'm just gonna, running. I'm gonna cure wounds on myself again. Cool, cool. How many spell slots do you have? Two? Three. Three. Alright, and I am back up to max health. Ooh, nice. Good. Uh, 
Running. That's I'm what you're gonna, gonna do next. Go ahead and move here. This feels like the safest. Uh, wait, no, there are hook shots there. I don't know if they'll if they'll attack me, but I'm gonna move they here. They haven't done anything cool. yet. So. Yes, exactly. They haven't done anything yet. That's why I'm worried. Uh, Elwin. Oh, wait, Habari. What am I thinking? Uh, I just attack again. Cool. Give me a roll. Ah, uh, no, sorry, wrong roll. Shit. Uh, we'll just roll get a 13 11. Uh, the 11 does plink off, but the 13 hits. Uh, so that's six points damage you do. Um, Ilwin. You're currently still riding that thing. Hey, can I take the, uh, the first roll? Eight damage? Um, no. Can you use Magic Missile again? You still have some spells. Yeah, Magic Missile obliterated most of these things. You can use them more than once as long as you... Oh, okay. Just in case, in case things are happening. Good call. Cool. Um, so we're gonna do loud another lightning, lightning bolt on that guy. Cool. Uh, he's gonna try to do 20, 20 minus 1. Uh, he's gonna fail, takes 3 points of damage again. Um, so there's lightning being blasted off uh, over Habara's shoulder. Is lightning bolt a canter? Uh, lightning blast is, I think. I, I know Lightning Grasp, and that's a touch spell. I said 60 feet away in his thing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, um, I keep right. forgetting that's electricity, too. That would, that would definitely hit him. I couldn't imagine it not. They would have disadvantage. Um, so, Aelwyn, uh, you just went, uh, the Swirling Skirmish is going to move... Yeah, this one move here. Uh, actually, no. First thing that happens is um, you all see happenstance disappear. Oh, good. Oh, there's a grappling hook. <laughs> or the... Wait, no. It wasn't that, because there... No, no. Okay, and then, then of course, you see uh, moments later uh, him reappear on the back of something uh, not too pleasant. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Nope, that was wrong there. Oh. It appears to be a very large mechanical spider. Ah. Well, don't worry, I'm going to use my persuasion check to get it to let me just use it as a mount. As soon as my turn comes back, it's going to be great. <laughs> um, so, uh, Hitari, these things are, are surrounding you now. You cannot Rock, say his name right. Hitari, I don't care. It's a I'm so late. Hibachi. I'm tired. Jimmy, <laughs> hi. Is your new name? Um. So first off, lively being attacked. Nope. Nope. That's gonna hit. You look at that five damage. Uh, Hibari from oh. behind you. Also hit. And uh, from the big guy who's slamming down towards you with his blades. Oh man. Not that. Oh, I forgot this guy attacks twice. That's a shame. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I gotta get to Abari somehow. Cool. Uh, that's gonna be five, six, seven, eight, nine damage total for this turn. Uh, however, thoughts here. it is your guys' turn now. That's any consolation. I'm gonna look over to that hulking beast and see if I can tell how wounded it is. Uh, with the by the amount of whirling, um, whirling going on, and the fact that every now and then it skips like an entire movement, uh, you think it's it's going it's days are numbered. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ellen, okay. I think it may be One. just about time to start busting out those magic missiles. <laughs> yeah, two, three, four, five, cunning action, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, nine. Cool. And just you know. Testing my fate, masterwork dagger stab, right to the gears. Gorgeous, give me a roll. Let's see this failure. Beautiful. You you just throw it in there 
and uh, it, kind of, it kind of accidentally slips out of your hand. It kind of gets lodged in there. You hear a bunch of tinkering and stuff. Uh, give me a dexterity save. Give me a dexterity save and throw. <sighs> oh, I'm halfling. You beautiful. <laughs> cool. Um, you see, it eventually, this thing start to shake violently, and as it does, see the top just kind of blow off, and the um, your your dagger gets gets thrown out past you and lodged into this wall here. All right. So is that dead? Uh, it appears to just be hanging there. Alright, and then the I wind. have one more space to move. Sure. Because I only took nine, yeah. so that's one. And then as a bonus action, can I pick up my dagger? Um, did you use Dash's turn? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah never that, mind, sorry. That was your bonus action, yeah. yeah. Uh, happenstance! Wait, is that a rogue thing? Being able to take part of your move and then taking the rest after? Oh um, no! Every, can everyone can do that. No, that's a five E thing. That's a five E thing. Huh? That's not something I knew about. Oh, okay. I, so I should have told you. I am, you work from a different edition. Yeah, no, I'm from like three point I mean, five Pathfinder. Four, I've done Pathfinder. Yeah. Done three point five. Uh, Happens. Anyway. What's your strength? My strength is ten. You should totally be able to long jump across that since he's elevated. That's that's a DC of ten though. I thought I you really could just launch. I, I, I really am not a fan of the consequences of failing that. It's not fair. I'm, I'm on, to I'm on uh, top of you, this. Spider. You have to be outside of battle to take 10. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm on top of this spider, so I think it'll have a hard time hitting me. So I'm just going to if, try attacking. If you, if you notice, they've never attacked at anyone who is on top of something. Yeah, yeah. that's. But the spiders have never attacked. Oh, nothing has ever attacked anything on top of another thing. Yeah, they could huh. resolve. I mean, it could change, but uh, I will just hope that it doesn't. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to stab my rapier down into the spider next to me. Okay, the one you're not running. Yes. Cool. Okay, that <laughs> does not work. Um, uh, no, unfortunately. And I'm going to use my move action to shimmy into a more comfortable position. <laughs> uh, okay, sounds good. Uh, Hibari. I said it right that time, either. I oh, fucking kill stealer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna attack the dude who's under Alwyn. Okay, cool. Um, so you're gonna destroy her mount that's keeping her safe, keeping him safe. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, he was spinning. I'm surprised he got all those hits. No. Um, so with your... For what weapons are you using? A uh, rapier and a tomahawk. Rapier is not light. Uh, I only need a light for it offhand. Is that no, true in 5e? No, you need to attack with a light, and then you can use a bonus action to attack with another light. Yeah. It's okay. Um, point is, your first attack with your rapier misses, and as you go for your second attack, you manage to smash it good. Um, you hear a bunch of the stuff inside start basically um, start smoking, and you hear a lot of uh, crashing on the inside. Um, eventually, it just kind of starts swinging, and it doesn't really move. I should shut my mouth sometimes. <laughs> Almost got you killed. <laughs> um, the hookshot does let go, and Elwyn's Put it on their bottom. Uh, this thing seems to fall. Okay, it stays there, yeah. Yeah, well, and I know you're saving them, but God help happenstance. Halloween, spider. I'm I'm on top of a spider. They yeah, but they can lift up. It. You see that spinning blade of death? It's gonna lift up. Anyway, I would like it if you would send your uh, magic missiles out at the things that I'm not riding. Who are you shooting at? Yeah. Uh, cool. Um, so, yeah, you could definitely take this one down, and you could do four damage to the other one. And the other one, yeah, it just does um, get about four damage to it. Uh, I see it kind of 
<laughs> yeah, essentially. So I believe there are only these spiders left, in which case uh, is going to um, bounce over to here. The one happenstance riding is going to bounce uh, one, two, three, four. And uh, wow. yep, you see them uh, kind of tilt backwards. Uh, happenstance, you put yourself in a comfortable position. You said that, so um, you're yep. easily able to grab and hold on. Um, as it Dude. gets up, and you see these nets, um, these oh. net, net mesh nets basically blast out, and uh, webs. yeah. So give me uh, dexterity saving throws, Habiri and Ilwin. It's actually they're actually using nets. Oh, this makes me happy. Nobody ever uses nets. I nail it. Both of you nail it, like surprisingly nice. well. Uh, so both of you duck as these nets go in, and you see them start pulling them back in. As if, because they don't know if they caught something or not. So they start pulling in, you see it basically go in and swing in, and then it starts going down. So you're oh, nice, give me my turn now. Uh, Lively, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna go here, pick up my dagger, is that a bonus action? Uh, yeah, hunt done. Alright, and I'll run here, and how about I cut off Actually, this? um, I, I, I just wanted to cut in and say bonus actions in 5e are only things that specifically give you bonus actions, something like that could, would could, actually could, be... Uh, I, I would your, allow it to be a dash, and um, him to be using I, movement I, to I do it. I was going to say it would uh, equate to like your free action that you would use to uh, unsheathe the weapon. Free action uh, is cheating. It, like, it, depends yeah, how, get... it depends on how hard it was thrown in there, honestly. But considering he's using his bonus action to do it, I'll, I'll allow it. Alright, I'm just saying, I don't think, I, uh, by the rule think, book, that's how it no, works. Honestly, I, I think I, screw the rules, right? Let's just, <laughs> let's, let's have fun. I'd, I'd much rather have fun than, um, do rules. Alright. Okay. Uh, Vival, oh, so you're, you're holding your dagger oh, yeah. in your hand? You're, you're trying to stab or cut some? No, no, I have a better idea, actually. Just give me a second here. You have five. <laughs> five. Uh, four, uh, uh, um, oh. Three, two, <sighs> one. I'm gonna... I'm gonna drop my hammer on top of the string and try to stop it. <laughs> drop your hammer? You know what, never mind, that's a stupid idea. It sounds like that thing is made to uh, pull up entire yeah. creatures. Yeah. So. It sounds like it's also in your backpack anyway. Uh, what do you want to do though? I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely cut the net. Cool, give me a give me a attack roll. Excuse me. Uh, remember this is a this is a steel net made of rings? Okay, can I change my mind real quick? Hundred <laughs> percent. No, it is okay, is so not a rope net. I'll I'll take back two, so that's three, four, and you know, just gonna do the old stab, stabaroo. Cool. Nice, you hit. That's good. I'm sorry, man, but uh, oh my god, but you killed it. Oh. You monster. You're giving me the American Idol thing. <laughs> yep, I apologize for nothing. Happenstance, you're up. Alright, so there's Dude. only my mount left. He's totally only up six health, by the way. So, <laughs> no. I guess I'm that one was gonna just before, have to uh, take my rapier and stab right down cool. into its face. Uh, I'll give you advantage. Okay, uh, putting it in. Don't get two ones. You ain't no. I feel you. you. You're not oh, a half. I do not get not a half ones. thing. We've discussed this. <laughs> you can pretend to be. <laughs> Wouldn't help. He's not an actor either. He's a music bard. Yeah. I, oh, I guess so. Oh, you hit. The Yay. nineteen you hit. Okay. You so been a good girl to me. No, I you said down. you've been good to me, girl, but I gotta put you down. <laughs> uh, deal me some damage. Proficiency bonus. That's only to only no, not attacks, damage. Only yeah. to attack. Okay. Yeah. Whereas to uh... oh, you know, I think I should have been getting plus four because I get my proficiency bonus and my dex bonus. Oh well. Yeah. Well. I love how you do its health perfectly. Oh, 
I have the, 10 health. Yeah, the, the guy attacked me before, I just didn't remember. Uh, it oh, the other guy got- Actually, maximum damage I could've done that. Exactly. You did exactly how much you needed to do. Um, it begins to whir, um, everything kind of goes quiet, and uh, as you kind of look over to the orb, you see it uh, unlatch the um, the kind of cage that's on it, and uh, the, the kind of the cage um, seems to withdraw into the ground with the top one kind of tilting over to the left and then withdrawing. Uh, I is... grab it up. Okay, uh, what are you I'm wearing? wearing on your... gloves. Wearing gloves, sweet. I'm wearing gloves, leather gloves. I just grab it up and hold it in one hand. You're now holding it. Uh, you guys look around you and you can clearly see all of these things are starting to go back into their normal positions. I look around and I say, does anybody want to try poking it with their bare finger? No response. No response? Not. Okay. Sounds like a yes I put to it me. Into my, I put it into my pack. Cool. It is in your pack. This is more than I've been wounded ever in my life. I'm kind of in shock right now. <laughs> I'm silent. I'm bloody. Uh, nice. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, Hibari needs it more. But um, Rival looks like he's going to cry. I, I, I kind of whisper, or not kind of like, there's a soft voice. Can we take a rest? Uh, levitation requir that requires you to be pretty much right beside him. You can't do it from that far. Anyway. Uh, oh, oh, see, uh, I said, can we take a rest? Oh, we yeah. probably take a short rest. You guys, you guys can all rest right where you are, if you want. For an hour? We get for an hour, hour. Yeah. yeah, for an hour. All right, I'm going to spend a hit dice then. Excellent. Okay, uh, everybody gets... Uh, we have on. two hit dice, and we can spend... I'm just going to spend two. He's, he's going he's gonna to give you extra. Well, hang on, hard. hang on. I got, I got song of rest here. Everybody gets one <laughs> extra hit point. Okay. It's the worst. If only you were a half -like. Okay, cool. Um, do you guys intend on touching it all? Excuse me? Do you intend on touching it? Oh, you mean the orb? The orb, yeah. Not it. The orb, yeah. The monster. <laughs> I mean, I asked. I can paint my butt red and you can touch my monkey. <laughs> Anyways, um, so it looks like you guys would later return it, I assume. Would you return to the? Uh, yeah, but uh, I'm I'm going to uh, go to the king first. No, no problem. I feel like this is I I don't entirely trust that other guy that wanted it. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to the king first. Yeah. Uh, he appreciates you giving to him greatly. Um, he he apparently is aware that you were given a reward by um, uh, by Pinktu, and he, 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 Pinktu kind of arrives and gives gives him a nod. And um, yeah, that was the game. Good job, team. Excuse me, I'm going to bring up... Uh, wait, right. did he give us an award? Um, no, if you remember, your reward was being able to rifle through the pockets of the dead. And then he said the king might be able to give you a reward. When did he I mean, say he that? He did say that, but he said maybe. Yeah, maybe yeah, was he key. said maybe. Uh, he, he, he appears to have convinced the king that he already gave you a reward. Excuse me? <laughs> Alright, just for the sake of time, I'll let um, it slide. If it's any consolation, you guys get the new title, uh, Tinker Tankers. Oh, <gasps> thank you! Yep, no longer the coward. Um, so this is the first one that went through this dungeon. How do you guys feel about it? I really enjoyed it. Alright, uh... Good to get some combat there at the end. Yeah, there, honestly, there was, there was combat in there, but you guys didn't go into those rooms. Quick question: Did we just completely dodge this trap over here? That dodge is broken. It is meant to just kind of um, show whole places and completely fixed. And uh, how do you feel this did, this one this room did for setting up how battles can go? Because you because it kind of it, it did foreshadow what fights would be like. I, I did definitely yeah, see I mean, that. It, it gave me it gave me no real idea of what was coming exactly. But once I got in there, I understood what was going on in that room. Yeah. Yeah. The, the whole star thing for me was... Uh, confusing? No, not confusing, because in-game, we would have the knowledge of what the fuck is going on. And, like, jumping over that thing, I understand I said the wrong thing by trying to duck under it, but my character would have knowledge that I don't know, which is frustrating as hell for a player. Oh, um, the knowledge That's of how the true. star worked? Is that the issue, or...? If no, I no, jump... If I saw a bar coming down, oh. I realized that I could jump over it, 
the, uh, the, it's down. when a, when a bar is in mid swing, when it starts high and then swings to low, um, you wouldn't be able to recognize it immediately. Right, right, but we disagree on that. Okay. Okay. That that's what I felt like. I mean, like, ah, yeah. oh, fuck, I was cheated. No, no, that's that's, that's um, cool. I I definitely apologize. I agree. Next no, time, no, next that's I mean, I felt no. like I was cheated. I'm like, yeah. I should have known in my character in game, looking at this yeah. thing, jumping madly, would have known better yeah. than not to get hit like a fucking idiot because yeah. I rolled a 23. Yeah. Next time, I won't even bother with the whole um, do you duck or do you go up? That I'm just gonna make a deck saver get hit. And I mean, just one more. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. That, that makes sense. And, and the other stuff, the the combat would have been cool. Rolling initiative for jumping out of the oh, shit, jumping out of the floor sucked. That that would have been much more interesting if there are four of you and you started locking each other into um. Into I, I wanted to kill stuff. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, and that's that's reasonable. And there are other rooms that, like this room right here, there are four whirling skirmishes. This room right here, there's one of the big guys. There are a lot of rooms are just kind of skipped. Skirmishers or are they dervishes? It, it felt cool. like you were searching for something and you were you were forcing us to do something we didn't want to do when when we had all these stars. Oh no! You, I, I never, I, I never said mentioned that they, everyone they mentioned they should have access to four stars, but we obviously missed stuff. That was everyone else's confusion. I didn't. I foreshadowed you guys will not see any more stars. I said there are. You're not going to see any because they're not. Um, they're gone. Uh, I for one, it went right over my head, and as a player, it just felt like removing player. Uh, mm. you know? I, 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 I personally just want to say that well. I would have preferred a little. Uh, I would have preferred a little more combat-heavy uh, session. Yeah. I know that there are a lot of players who this would have appealed to over a combat-heavy sure, session. Sure. So I think you did a good job with it. Yeah. And once again, there are of this place. There are like three to five of the traps are combat. You skipped them. Yep. Yeah, we were terrified of those traps. Yeah. Is the thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm just uh, happy I got to use the ball bearings. Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing with D and D. These these traps, except for like you know the enemies there at the end, weren't particularly deadly. But D and D players in general seem to uh, go about any traps, even if they're uh, you know like even if you have good reason to believe that they'll do at most less than half of your health. Yeah. Go at them like they're all save or dies. Yeah. Uh, for, for this one, I expect you guys. I told you it was a key. I told you they were used to avoiding the traps. So when you put it in, I was surprised you thought it activated traps. Yeah, I don't know why. You see, I for the whole time that's what I was saying. Yeah. But they just they, I, I, and it sort I was of confused. slipped into my brain. I was confused because your token was here, but you didn't mean it for it to be there. Who didn't mean to and be there? And then when we. I forget who it was, but someone's token was right here, and then he moved it back here. So I thought it, it was already there. So when we oh. activate it and we move it, oh, the issue oh, was um, it was it was three. Once you guys had to activate three, like if it was one guy and you walked and went one, two, three, it would activate. So when you go oh. one, 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 then it activates. Okay, so I was completely my fault for suggesting that. Yeah, um, just curious. What were what were the traps in these rooms? No traps. Those were those were just oh. the treasure rooms. Uh, there are all, all the traps are indicated by these things. They are between them. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, because, thought... because this is for priests to get through, so when they go through, they have to unlock the one, walk through, and then relock it, and then walk through. They have to be able, um, they have to get be able to get through from both sides. And back in the main fight, uh, room, what see, if, I was what confused because you said there were tracks on the, on the uh, top of the ceiling there. Yeah, yeah. I was which, wondering what they were for. Which was for these guys here. That makes oh, even up sense. in the uh, so those things could have gotten. I mean, if they were alive, could have gotten up into the sarcophagus rooms. Um, they, huh. they, they, they want you. The, the designers wanted you to think that, but um, honestly, they there's n the the uh, the floor plates around here. They are meaningless. They're just um, springs on on the floor. Ah, uh, they're just springs under uh, metal plates. Well, I figured uh, that much. I have one final oh my question. god, oh, I didn't minute. realize until just yeah, now. I apologize how late it is. <laughs> all of the enemies, all of the enemies were not actually seeing us. They were headed towards where the floor was depressed. Exactly. Isn't that great? I they're, feel they're like traps. an idiot now. <laughs> That's why you oh. were safe on top of them. Yeah. 
Oh, oh that's when, why oh. they were huff, That's why they were being lifted above the floor. Jesus, I'm dumb. <laughs> Wait, so that was if really we... clever. Good job. Thank you, <laughs> dude. You made me feel like an idiot. Good job. <laughs> I I oh tend my. to have an effect on people. But um. Okay, I've. What? One 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 more quick question. The, the two, if we somehow, even though it's impossible, had seven, what would these do? Just unlock um, it? Oh, uh, yeah, it would, it, would just, um, it would just unlock the thing in the center. Okay. What would have happened if we touched the orb? Um, <laughs> you, oh, uh, if you touched the orb, you would have been transported to another room. Because uh, this orb is for controlling Sturges, but um, I'll uh -huh. show you. Um, what it actually leads you to is a fey creature um, over here. Uh, which is being chained and locked, and they basically torture it until it allows until it makes a fate pact with you and allows you to become a warlock. Huh. That wouldn't happen to look uh, familiar true. to my character, would it? Uh, a massive sturge, or yeah, no, that's my knowledge. Uh, no, no what? diagrams on certain scrolls. Oh no, this is this is a fate creature. It would be um, completely out of the ordinary. Okay, this this it was captured by the uh, the. Alicorn Cartel brought in here, or rather brought into the orb. Uh, I but just yeah. I really want to know what that scroll does, and I have a couple oh. of ideas. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and until you use it, or you get somebody who knows what they're doing to look at it, you'll never like, know. I'm scared, because I feel like if I use it in a fight, it's either going to set someone on fire, or make us fly. Yeah. <laughs> or make your enemies fly. <laughs> make burn yeah, yourselves. Or, or set you on fire. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Yeah, I did have to decrease the difficulty for you guys for a bit, just because um, this was there was another guy way on the wings. Um, another uh, I forget what they call them actually. Um, I think they call them toy soldiers. But there's another toy soldiers, another whole row of um guys. Spiders. Yeah, spiders. I don't think we would have survived that. Which, which was, no, and, we and it was survived that, but to and be it was fair, too we late. only had four people. There yeah, and it was too instead late. Instead of the expected it's, it's, five, it's one oh eight a.m. So over here, mm. I'm gonna stop. It's three o seven here. 